Hello, folks. Welcome to Nate Land. Always glad to have you sitting here with Brian Bates. Back is Aaron Weber. Yeah. Uh, thank you to our good friends at Viore for sponsoring this episode of Nate Land. Get yourself some of the most com- comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash Nate. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but you will enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75. Also, fall is the time for change. And aren't we all working towards a better version of ourselves? It is the perfect time to focus on your mental health goals with Talkspace. Match with a licensed therapist today at Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first promo. Uh, $100 off your first month with promo code NATE. And lastly, not only is Vivint the best home security, they're giving Nate Land listeners the best offer you will find. Go to vivant.com slash Nate and use promo code Nate for up to six months of free monitoring. That's up to six months of free monitoring. Mo- monitoring? Monitoring? Monitoring. Monitoring. You get six months of free monitoring. <laughs> I like got to stop in it. When you go to vivint.com slash Nate and use promo code Nate, you can even call them at one 855 Vivint zero v i v i n t zero and use our promo code Nate. All right, everybody, we're back. This is like uh, you're about to be getting a bunch of, not a bunch, but some podcasts that are going to be just. We have to pre-record some. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think I'm home till November, and this is what is today. This is if this is coming out on the thirteenth, October thirteenth. Me and my wife's anniversary. Wednesday thirteenth. Congrats! How many years? Uh, too many. No, uh, sixteen. Two thousand six. So wow. what is that? No, yeah. 15. fifteen. 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 Yeah. Is yeah. that a big one? Is that a one that's like Clearly. a milestone? No, I think twenty is the big one. Ten's okay. big. Five is like kind of like all right. Mm-hmm. We're still. She just told me fifteen was big. Is it? No, she didn't. <laughs> uh, we're not even doing anything. Oh, she'll be lucky if Sorry, I Laura. see her. <laughs> I'm going to walk by her, pat her on the booty, and say, happy anniversary, and kind of walk on my way, <laughs> head out to the golf course, <laughs> give her a little slap. Good game. Good game out there. We've been doing pretty solid <laughs> for these 15 years. Uh, yeah, we'll be together, actually, because she's coming. They're, on, they're coming on the road with me, uh, fall break. Usually, we're not together. We actually will be together. But I'm, we're, I'm you know, so you're working the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just always end up doing something later. So I'll just plan for something later. I think twenty or twenty year we we're kind of like going to try to take a really big trip or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, fifteen. He's, oh, we've always just worked, man. It's always been busy. Yeah, you know. But we do stuff. I'll do something. You know, I'll do something. Kind of thinking about it right now. <laughs> I do something. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. I'll buy a rose at a Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Yeah. Send her to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> just be like, you should be getting some from. Uh, Public soon, <laughs> two roses and some Valentine's Day candy and happy anniversary <laughs> card that says happy anniversary. And you write on it after 15 years, you're like, I can't believe we made it this far. We love each other. So it's the same. <laughs> That's what marriage ends up coming. Uh-huh. You should write, write for Hallmark. I know. Well, we're here doing it. 15 year card should just be, hey. We're still here. The fact that we <laughs> love each other still is enough. <laughs> she, I actually am good at writing cards out. That's my one thing I am good at. I'll write like a. You mirror. write your own cards. I'll I'll have a card. I don't really like. I don't even care. Sometimes I'll buy a funny card. Yeah. And I'll write like a very sweet message. But I'm really good at writing sweet messages. She's the. Uh, she just buys the card <laughs> and says, "No, they're saying everything that I want to say." <laughs> and I'm like, "But you didn't write anything." I think there's a king of queens about that. Or he had an old joke about that or something. He had a bit and sweat the small stuff yeah. about men and women. I don't cards. think the card, I don't like it's like I think it's gotta come from you. You, you know? taking the opposite position he took in the yeah. special. Like almost give me a blank card. Yeah. If I'm that's why I could buy one that's like it, it could say I'm it's like you're my favorite aunt. <laughs> because I think I've done that before. Like it's uh-huh. like that's funny. Yeah, that is funny. And then you write a very sweet thing in there. Yeah, because it's not really you saying it. If you just hand the card, it's someone else. Yeah, it's like they're going to, why well, I picked it out. I mean, I think this is his old routine. Oh, it James. is? I, I don't know. I think so. But it's like, they, yeah, it's the idea that they they picked it. You know, it's like, yeah, but I chose that one for you. Mm-hmm. And I write something in. 
We have a lot of stuff. I think it's like we're kind of switch roles of she's very husband like yeah. and I'm very wife like. Yeah. Uh could be my legs. By the way, I got trashed by my legs. <laughs> In that picture you posted. I mean, everybody. <laughs> I think the picture was it's a beautiful picture and it though it just looks not as uh flattering. Well, it was done one of those uh angles. Uh yeah. Yeah, somebody right. compared him to Minute Bull. <laughs> yeah. That's why he wore those big socks. Uh yeah, the angle wasn't just because I mean, it wasn't about the legs. <laughs> yeah, it was about the, the theater. Everybody ignored the theater. Yeah. Everybody's where was this taken? I don't even see the I can't see past <laughs> your legs. It was uh I you know, I think I my legs are not as bad as I think they think, but I got made fun of Jay Color. When I took, we took the picture of color, people were like, Well, those legs. Yeah. No, we all got trashed on that yeah. one. Because we all looked pretty silly standing next to him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wrinkled I think, khaki shorts. Uh, and- I don't know. I I I, I want to work my legs out now. <laughs> Some will try to start doing that. I'll see. But your last special you complain that that's all you do is legs. And now it's like, well, now you know why. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been lying to you. He does do legs a lot. But I, I even said, well, I guess we got to do more. Yeah, there it is. It's just like a not, you your, know. Your shoes look giant. That's what we have is the Bargetsis. Are, our stomach goes out. And we got little legs. Big feet. Well, now we've covered That's his a feet. nine and a half feet. Looks bigger. Uh, That's an awesome looking theater, though. Yeah. Is that a good show? Yeah, yeah. The show's amazing. Where, uh, where is that? West Palm Beach. Uh, they were the strictest on COVID. It's kind of funny. Really? In Florida? Yeah. I mean, everybody else has been like, there's whatever the venues. I don't make mm-hmm. these rules up, you know. But they always, you have to do, usually it's like a show a vaccine card or like a COVID test. And uh, some places are like kind of whatever. And some are a little, obviously this places you think would be. In Florida, you just wouldn't think, you know, I was like, I thought it was like free. You know? <laughs> and then Jacksonville was cool. I mean, Jacksonville, we only let people in that had COVID. <laughs> and and then. Uh, you had to show a positive test. Yeah. yeah. Do you <laughs> proof, have it? Proof of and they COVID. Go, no, I don't think I, I've never had it. And they goes, well, I guess you're never coming to the show tonight, are you? And then we got them out of there. And I was a part of that. I decided, I go, get out of here right now. Yeah. I'd walk out. Uh, but then West Palm was like, I think it was their first show back. Wow. And they were, I mean, I, I like going to the backstage was like, yeah, yeah everybody had to, you had to do a, uh, I had to, I had the mask on. I had to, had the mask on until I walked out on the stage. And you were in like a big room. <laughs> that was, mm-hmm. Like none of us are near each other. Yeah. It was an enormous stage. Uh-huh. There was like, four people back there. Yeah. And it was just very funny to be like, all right, we'll wear a mask. And then we go sit in a <laughs> bus for 14 hours together. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> uh but you know what it ain't you know, good you know it's all it's a tough thing right now we'll get through it and then we'll do the smallpox uh <laughs> bring that back yeah they uh so uh yeah that was great i went to i played saw grass this weekend mm. big big course uh, I got to play with paul and reed joiner reed is 11 years old and i lost 40 bucks to him and he beat me how old is he? 11. Wow. He's a really good golfer. And uh, that's uh, the hole. That's the famous hole. I've seen that a the bunch. The famous hole. So I got asked a lot what happened on it. I, I think I posted if people saw it, but I hit a little nine iron. I had a little win. Uh-huh. Did a great shot right over the flag. I mean, I thought, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be super close. A little long, but the wind was in there, so I probably should have pitched a wedge, but I don't want to be short. Yeah. And so I was in the kind of the back spot, which the famous thing is better than most with Tiger Woods. Better than most. Better than most. And I was kind of around there. My flag was in the middle. His flag was always in the front. Mm -hmm. And I three-putted. So that's the only difference (laughs) uh, between. Mine was, yeah, he was like, it's about average, about what everybody does. That would have been what he said. Mm -hmm. For Tiger, it's better than most. Mine was like, this is routine (laughs) here. Yeah. Three-putt from there. I mean, I lift out on the. But it was uh, I played terrible. I was on like three hours of sleep. Uh, shot ninety one, which is not good. I was hoping to break. I, I'm just I'm going through some. Looks swing, like an awesome swing course, though, issues, man. Uh, swing changes, and I got swing. I got help with Chris Como, uh, which Chris Como uh, is Bryson DeChambeau's 
guy right now, oh, Jason wow. Day's guy, and he did Tiger Woods, uh, and he did me and my brother. It was and pretty special. You. And now me, me and Derek Bargetzi. It was pretty. It was a special trip because uh, it was uh, that Boyd Summerhays too that commented on this. He's a big coach. He does now. His son is unreal. His son's a great, great golfer. Uh, and then Boyd is, you know. But Como's like just such a big deal, dude. I mean, a lot of people are not going to think this is crazy, but it is the craziest uh -huh. that we got to talk to him and me and Derek. And it's f special just to get to do with Derek. Yeah. We played Sawgrass, and then we got a lesson with him. That's awesome, man. And then like so, uh, just working on some, trying to get that swing down. It's like there's a you can feel it where you're like you know there's a swing that's like gets consistent. That's the hard part about golf is like you start hitting some good shots and you're like, well, there's a way to figure this out, and then I don't have to think about this anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's just naturally there, and I'm just there. Like where he's like you end up being like a someone who wants to be. People always ask my handicap. I'm a three at my course. I'm probably a five at most other courses. But you want to be a five, but you want to get to like a plus two. And you're like, well, how do I, you know, how do I do it? And is that consistent? I mean, it's chipping and putting, but I know you got to get that swing down. And when you hit it right, it's like amazing. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Either that or I'll throw my clubs away. <laughs> uh, but I still like where it's going. But it was a fun, yeah, a bit of fun. I'm trying to think about it. Get, we met a lot of people. So let's go, folks. Jacksonville, unbelievable. Yeah. I almost, I mean, I, I, we did the show there. I would, I would shoot a special there. I almost wish I would have known how good it was going to be and how that theater was. I mean, every show was awesome. Uh, Mobile was, like, super fun. They were, like, one of the loudest pops I've heard when I went out. West Palm was so great. Even with all that's going on there, like, it was, like, everybody was just super cool and, like, uh, that crowd was great. And Jacksonville, just that theater was uh, beautiful. And uh, the crowd was so good. And I was like, man, I, if I would have known they were that good, I would have just shot a special there. I'd have been like, let's just wait and do it next year and shoot a special. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll, I'll just have to do another special. It was great. Yeah, Jacksonville was cool. The weather, they got good breeze from the ocean. Yeah, Jacksonville gets trashed a lot as oh, a city. Yeah. I'm very impressed. But So you, okay. Yeah, I loved it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't do a ton, so I don't know for everything. Yeah. But yeah. just Sawgrass was there. Yeah. I know they got good golf there. Yeah. I don't think it's as hot. Like, uh, it, like they're hot. When it's 95 there, you at least have a breeze from the ocean. It's kind of like L.A. where you're – the parts – if you go to the valley, it ends up being 105 degrees. But if you go by the ocean, you always kind of got a breeze. So even when it's hot, there's at least a breeze. Uh, yeah, I just enjoyed it. I don't know. Were you there Sunday? We left Sunday. I could have went uh. to Titans. Jack. I didn't realize it, and then I saw it like last week. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. We could have went to that game. But I did the Chris Como thing. So I, I mean, I would do that over. Yeah. How much I'd, I'd want to go to Titan? I'd love to go to Jack's game, but it's just too hard to do some of that stuff. We played in our first charity golf. Oh, match that's yesterday. right. Yesterday. Who is that for? It's for um, a soldier's child. It's an organization that helps out children who lost a parent. In, yeah. In the war. Oh, that's so it's awesome. So it's a great organization, yeah. and um, it was fun. It was your first time, right? It was my first time doing something. I was with a cool group, mm -hmm. you know. They didn't expect a big celebrity. They didn't care. They also yeah. didn't expect me to be good at golf, which was really yeah. nice. That's all you want with mm -hmm. those groups. You can you will sometimes get guys that like want to win this thing, and it, they make it really not fun. Yeah. Uh, and if you can get like one of, I remember I played one, and we bogeyed a bunch of holes, which is pretty rare for yeah. a scramble. Like you just don't bogey holes, and we were like, the guys that the people I was playing with were just terrible. And I'm and I wasn't. It's not like I was. We played my ball a lot, but I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't a guy going to go out and sh like a, I'm not a pro. Mm -hmm. And so I remember we had to take the sand shots because that was our best option, which is very <laughs> funny to be on a scramble. <laughs> out of all four of you, the best option is the trap. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we would make bogeys. And I, mean, I don't even know if we we might have been over par by the time <laughs> we were done. But to this day, the best one of the best groups I've ever. I mean, I played with a bunch of them now. They're all fun. But that was just a very, like, they didn't care at all. Yeah. And they just were, like, having a good time. And you're like, these people are great, man. Well, just to speed things up, we had, it was automatic two-putt yeah. and par. Like, well, automatic we par. Had, oh, we didn't have automatic par, but I think we had automatic two-putt, and we still would bogey. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> but we, the par thing, the par thing is a good thing. Like, just put par down. And just you know, speed yeah. things up, yeah, yeah. man. What was your group? Uh, they were fun. I played so bad, even yeah. by my standards. I get really nervous because I get out there. I've never met these guys. They all know each other. I feel like they're immediately disappointed that I'm the celebrity. Yeah. In my head, I think that. Yeah. And I like, and then I'm so bad at golf. I'm. I feel like they just think this guy is bringing is, nothing to the yeah, table. He's bad. They they didn't put pressure on me. They were a really fun group, yeah. but I played really bad. I could just tell I was nervous. Yeah. Did they talk to you about keeps? <laughs> we were Did, all wearing hats. Yeah, yeah. You didn't take it off when you shook hands <laughs> no. at the end. They yeah. were more interested in we had to do a silly photo. Yeah. Which I hate comics. I think yeah, usually yeah. hate doing those. Like and, and everyone thinks the comic's gonna come up with something. Yeah. These guys were all into it and it immediately went dirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the woman taking the picture. She's like, Can we do anything we want? And she's like, Yeah. They really got into it. Yeah. And now I'm just with this group of people yeah. trying to play along. And yeah. they're sticking teas at places that I mean, it's almost like we couldn't even show it on the podcast. <laughs> I mean, Probably not. Probably not. Uh, We'd have to blur a lot of it. But Brian's in it. You're <laughs> yeah. in the picture. Right? I'm in yeah. the photo just doing this, staring yeah. at it like Jay Cutler. But That would always be like when someone comes up and asks you, I don't like silly photos either. you just like, let's just take the picture. It's like, let's do a fun one. You're like, is this not fun? Like, we're get, it's a picture. Like, yeah. I don't. I'm smiling. I, I, yeah, I'm smiling. Like, I don't want a fun one. I mean, with my family, I don't want it. Like, it's not like it's just people. Right. But I, I, it's not, I don't, I don't, you know, like, let me just take this picture. And then, uh. But I would always feel too like I always get people like, "Hey, we flick the camera off," and there was a couple times I because like at the beginning you're just like, uh, you know, you feel like you're like, well, I, I guess I have to do whatever this person says. Mm -hmm. And there's maybe been like two or three times I had to do it, and I thought I, you know, it was like a long time ago. Now I'm like, I never liked it. Mm -hmm. I hated it every single time. And then now I just say no. I'm like, no, absolutely no. <laughs> You can do whatever you want, but I'm not. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to yeah. sit here and smile. Yeah, I'm going to smile and be a regular person. I mean, I'm 42, so <laughs> I think those days are gone. And you feel that old too, sir. And yeah. So th those days should be gone for you. Uh huh. You know, people hang on to stuff too long, <laughs> and they're doing that kind of stuff. This is – golf is a little different. These dudes, are, were they drunk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a whole different – yeah. I mean, at least I didn't have to come up with the idea. They had their yeah. own ideas. Oh, they were ready. Yeah. Oh, they were, yeah. Did either people know who you were? No. No. Your group? No. No. That's the Still hard didn't. Part. Even they had heard about you. Oh, they have? Yeah, they hadn't heard of me, oh. or, me or Brian. I'd say that's a group that you would think, I don't think they would have even heard of me. Mm. Like, you you can get to some, I mean, I think I told that's I feel pretty confident my group didn't would have not yeah. have known you. Did, uh, did, I think, did I tell a story about my golf thing hmm. at old hickory country club so we i would do one every year for my high school donaldson christian academy dca and we uh so we do a golf tournament and it's turned into like it's just the nate bargetts golf tournament it, i didn't mean it to be that but i like paid for like i guess something one time and it's become that and so it's like i love it like coach goodwin a uh, uh, football coach there he uh always runs it he's great he's, he's about to retire uh just a sweet man and so we do it and then so sometimes my dad always wants me to like go around and like take pictures with everybody or something. And like, so one year I played in it the second the next year, I think I was like, all right, well, I'll do that. I'll just go drive around and like take pictures with everybody. And it, it was just like, no one cares. <laughs> and then I told him, and this year I was, this year I was like, I'm going to play. Mm -hmm. Like I'll be there, but I want to just play in it and I'll take pictures with everybody. I don't, but I was yeah. like, I'm like rolling up on people, being like, "Y'all want to get a picture?" And they're like, "I guess." <laughs> I mean, I'm, some of them I know, like forever. Uh -huh. I mean, some are very nice, but I in this one group, I was uh, I walked up to go take a picture of this group, uh, a younger kid, uh, probably 16. He comes up and is like nervous, and he's like, "Oh, me and my mom watch you. I mean, all the time. We're such big fans. I'm mean, gonna take the picture. I can feel him kind of shaking a little bit." And in the same group, an older man walks up and he goes, "You still doing comedy?" <laughs> <laughs> the turn he's at a tournament that's named after me, <laughs> and he's like, "You still bouncing around a little bit?" I go, "I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to plug away, just keep knocking, knocking chips away. It's all you can do, right?" The other kid is marveled by me, yeah, yeah. and this guy doesn't know. Hey, you still working? Keep you're plugging you, away, dude. What are you doing? You still at the water company? Still working over there? Like, ah, you know. Yeah, I'm the best water 
reader. <laughs> I'm so good that they named this <laughs> golf tournament, golf tournament after, me. after me. He thought it was a charity for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is money going to you, right? Because I don't make sure it doesn't want to go anybody else. <laughs> hang in there, buddy. Yeah, hang in there. <laughs> You'll get on your feet. That's the beautiful thing about comedy is you just end up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of a perfect thing. You get knocked right back down. I, I was going to say, I had a very funny moment with some podcast fans this weekend. I opened for Henry Cho in Walhalla, South Carolina. Oh. And a big group came out uh, that knew me from the podcast. And I didn't know they were there until at the end of Henry's show, he does a QA. and a Yeah. And he'll just take questions from the crowd. And somebody yelled out, how far could you throw a football? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm in the back just dying, yeah. and nobody even knows. They're like, what a random question yeah. to ask this yeah. guy. And then there's got to be a couple people in the front that they don't know why they're asking that, but they're like, let's let's hear what he says. Though. I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, Henry was like, uh, I mean, I don't, I guess. Like, I don't know. He was like, what a weird question. To yeah. Hear. The yeah. other ones are like, who's your favorite comedian? Who inspired right. you? <laughs> yeah. It was great. But that one's a, that's a better question. Yeah, I'd like it to know. I would rather question. that question. If you ever, if I ever took questions, which don't just yell questions out. Uh, but like, if I ever ask, say, let's do a Q&A somewhere, I would be like, but ask me weird. Mm -hmm. Ask me those kind of questions. Uh -huh. I, one that I got was DC one time. Someone goes, are you really? Because I did try a Q&A, and this is what made me stop it. <laughs> a, the audacity I feel when I do that sometimes. Like you're sitting there and you're like, you know, anybody want to ask me some questions? Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah. I mean, who do you think you are? No. Like, I, you I'm not saying Henry. A lot right. of people do it, and right. they it's great. Mm -hmm. But it's like for me, I honestly just was like, I, I feel yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you do have a golf tournament named after you, but it's my yeah. high school though. <laughs> just messing. That's true. I'm just messing. No, no. Yeah, I don't like those questions, Aaron. Uh, <laughs> those statements. <laughs> yeah, don't you dare. And they wait. What did somebody say? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still saying it. Oh, sorry, man. I feel like you're trying to move it on because you no, like, thought... you're embarrassed that you said that to me. I have a golf tournament named after me. Like, that's the, the ego I have. I feel like you want this to move on. You don't like it. So what did the guy say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, uh, he goes, are you really this dumb? <laughs> Just yelled it out. <laughs> did it sound like your wife at all? Yeah. yeah. Don't her voice. Did it get a big laugh when he said it? <laughs> it did. And then... Uh, I think it got kind of a laugh, and then I think, but he was serious. I was in Washington, D.C., so it felt like a serious question. Hey, are you okay? Like, you know, <laughs> and that was about the last time I took questions. Because I was yeah. like, hey, you can't really, can't come back from that. There's no come back from that. What's that in Seinfeld? Yeah, when they call him uh, Galuli. Yeah, yeah. After they uh, took out Bette Midler's yeah. uh, understudy. Yeah. Yeah, or yeah. took out Bette Midler. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, ah, there's no come back for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. But I do have a golf tournament named after me. <laughs> do you think we could get on it next year? As a team, you could. You could maybe put y'all in as some celebrities on there. Yeah. Put quotation right. marks around the celebrities. <laughs> it will be, how we're doing is I'll walk y'all to each card and go, do you know who these people are? And if they go, no, and then we move on until we can find. And if we find someone... Yeah. Y'all get to play with them. If we don't, y'all just go, y'all drive back home. My group at one point goes, so Andrew, you're our celebrity? And yeah. I go, well, that answers your question. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you yeah. just got my name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Getting asked if you're a celebrity? Yeah. So Andrew. You're, you're, yeah, Andrew, you're a celebrity? You go, oh, yeah, I guess, you know, can't go places. <laughs> it's Aaron, but yeah, it's Aaron. yeah, that's me. But yeah, it's Aaron, but I mean, I'm, you know, pretty big. When I walked to my cart when we were all starting, I ran into a buddy of mine from high school I hadn't seen in a while, and he said, uh, "Is this just a charity that's near and dear to your heart?" And I was like, yeah. "No, I'm one of the celebrities," and he just started laughing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Who's the celebrity in your group?" And he's like, "My buddy's brother yeah. plays guitar." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he like, hey, you're a more celebrity than that. Well, I think so, but <laughs> yeah. to him, he was more surprised. His I was buddy's a brother just plays like. I guess he plays like somewhere professionally. Knows yeah. how to play guitar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which like, I don't. That's what so. you should say. Your celebrity is you go. He's like a decent piano player. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay and they go, the piano. dude. That's very funny to be like. Celebrities are literally nowhere, <laughs> but they're they're just really good at a craft. <laughs> like you know like you know this guy can catch, uh it's called the most rattlesnakes in uh southwest texas 
and you go, oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. I think I would like those celebrities. Yeah. Like, don't get a real famous person. Just get someone that's really just great. Just like an what interesting they do. person. In like way. an interesting person. Yeah. And that yeah. goes, my brother, we played my brother's buddy. He played guitar. <laughs> <laughs> for like a band did he play no 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 he just <laughs> he knows how to play it we don't so that was all it took that's what everybody just gets paired with a regular group and they go all right who wants to be the celebrity yeah and then you got to pick that almost could be fun too yeah. out of your group you got to pick who's the celebrity yeah and then just what all right well what do you do and everybody's got to ask what they do and then everybody decides you know i sell insurance and like you if, if you do sell insurance you're like have you sold it to someone faint? Like you need to have some connection, you know, be like, oh, I did, uh, you know, Vin Diesel's aunt's house. And they go, all right, <laughs> whoa. All right, you did, you insured her whole house? Yeah. Did you meet him? No, she had pictures everywhere though. Huh. <laughs> My team was Southern Stump. They dig up stumps for people. And so the whole time we're out there, the guy's just looking at trees like that would be a $350 job. Yeah. I mean, he's just telling us the different trees out there, yeah. what they would be. Well, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So he was really the celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he does all this. <laughs> yeah, he was giving more than you gave yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you uh, tee up when you hit your ball, your foot comes up late? Have you been working on that? That's my good shots, and yeah. I didn't have any. Oh, a few times they'd be like, uh, "Make us laugh," and I'm like, "Watch this tee shot." Yeah, and then that that would make them laugh because yeah, yeah. they'd see me play. Yeah, that was my go to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did y'all drive anybody? Were they good? Yeah, they were good. They were very good. No. Did you ever not tee it up and say, like, we're just... I wanted to. You can do that. Um, I almost suggested a couple times, but I just... Just do it. I just... Yeah. They would like it. Especially when... I'm, just, I'm not trying to be... <laughs> no, you're, I know. It's like, if you know... I mean, we, we played with a, uh, a guy at Sanderson Farms. Uh, played with a great group. And they uh, they all work at Sanderson Farms. And they're just super fun. And, I mean, uh, one of our group was like... He was super, super funny. But they, he would do that. So he's like, all right, I'm not going to drive. I've done it sometimes. You're like, one guy would rope it mm-hmm. 310 down the middle. You're like, we yeah. don't have to. We Why don't have waste to our time? Let's just go. Like, unless you want to hit, you're like, well, I want to hit. But if you're not hitting good, mm-hmm. just go. I'll just meet you up there. Like, even like, I would just kind of, uh, and that's also if you're the worst one in the group, kind of maybe sometimes go first. I would. Yeah. But it was just kind of a waste. Like, why am I doing this? Yeah. And I'd always putt first so they could watch my line. Brian gave me that advice, and yeah. I offered that every time. Yeah. 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 So at least they can watch what your yeah. ball does. And just make sure you're – yeah, that's the only thing. Just try to be in the ball around the hole. Yeah. Don't sometimes, go short. Yeah. Don't go short and don't go lo- super long. Sometimes you think that you're going to – you're like, oh, y'all want to watch my line? Then you just fly it by the hole, and you're – it was useless. Yeah. You're like, that. we got nothing out of that because you can't. I didn't get to see anything it does. Like I guess it tapered off and broke off at the very end back there, hundred <laughs> feet from the hole. All right, let's read some comments. That was yeah. a long. Oh, look at that! Wow. Uh, animal part two comments. Dan, the man with the pants. That's his thing. Mm. Dan with the man with the pants. I don't think I mind that. No, he has pants. But how would you know the difference? Maybe always no shirt. No shoes. That's how he would be. And then who is he? He's the man with the pants on. With only pants. Only pants. Maybe there's a xylophone in it. <laughs> yeah, maybe there is. Xylophone? Is that yeah. how you say it? Yeah. Oh. Of course, the topic as complex as animals needed a part two. Glad they finally listened to the fans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brad McClung. Nate saying, yeah, that's college, you know, as if he actually knew was like when Michael Scott says campus brings me back so many memories that I would have made. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's I mean, that's an amazing line in the office. Yeah, oh, how many memories I would have made. <laughs> Robert James Nate said the Pistol Shrimps would be a good name for a minor league team. Aubrey Plaza played on the Pistol Shrimps rec league basketball team with other comedians. I didn't know that. Yeah, Aubrey Plaza right there and. There is. Was it like a oh, it was a movie documentary called The Pistol Shrimps? Oh, really? 2016. And there's a podcast. Oh, really? Called The Pistol Shrimps Radio. Huh. Oh, didn't know that. Look at that. That's good. Yeah. It's a fun logo. Yeah. It's a good name. Shrimps don't care about it. Yep. <laughs> Short people offended, but other than that, everybody kind of <laughs> likes it. 
So you're anti, uh, you're anti gun and anti short people. Uh -huh. You got to find that group. Oh man! And they're like so furious. Uh, Andrea Deicher, Deicher, Deicher. A Dog's Journey is a movie series with Dennis Quaid, and the dog's name was Bailey. So that's why that's probably why it's a popular dog name. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, you know. Was that the one you were? Is that the one you were questioning? Why Bailey so popular? Yeah, I just usually there's an explanation. I don't know if the, is this yeah. movie must have been really popular. I don't know. It's a movie series, which already is something that's never existed. <laughs> sequels? <laughs> oh, is it a series of it's sequels? I guess. I think so. Yeah, yeah. like a, a TV series. I was thinking like. <laughs> So you're telling me the one, the only movie series that's ever been made was A Dog's Journey with Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid, who's been in literally every, he does everything. Uh, I think he lived here. Yeah, I think he lives here. He's the yeah. only actor I've ever heard my mom think is attractive. Like, we were watching The Parent Trap, yeah. and she was like, that Dennis Quaid. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. A handsome guy. Uh, yeah, his Dog's Journey, was it a... I don't know. Yeah. I've heard of a dog's purpose. I've never heard of a dog's, up a dog's journey. Look up a dog's journey and see what see what it was. Kyle D Daly. Kali Daly. Or Killy Daly. <laughs> Killy Daly? I think it's Kali. Kali. Kali Daly. Kali Daly. I'm a dog groomer and I get a lot of odd requests. When I first start when I first started, I had a customer schedule an appointment for a dog's baptism. I thought she was joking, but she was dead serious. Also, I can confirm that the most common name is Bella. In the grooming world, there's a negative stigma with the name because most Bellas will try to bite you. Ooh. Mm -hmm. In the dog grooming world. I like that. Well, it turns out a dog's journey is the sequel to a dog's purpose. Oh, oh okay. So it's all part of the same movie series. So it probably was pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a part of the series. Was it the so one? it is a movie series. The movie series. A dog's is, it really, is, is that how you say it? Movie series? I've never seen it like that. It, yeah. It did strike series me as weird. Series of movies? Yeah. Like a, because it's not really like a... It's it, not a sequel. It might be. It's not a sequel. So it's maybe a, it is a series. It's a sequel to the 2017 film A Dog's Purpose. Oh, it's the same dog? Oh. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same dog. Keeps Bailey. getting lost. Maybe it's Bailey. Yeah. Maybe it's on Dennis Quaid after a while if the dog keeps <laughs> disappearing. <laughs> Kylie, when, it, uh, when I first, I mean, having to get your dog baptized, that's good. Uh, like, yeah, I mean, that's, I bet she did. She laughed. She goes, I don't know what's funny. You go, I don't either. <laughs> uh, I'll get her ready. <laughs> TR, when you were talking about animals not being native to certain places, it made me think of my family's trip to Puerto Rico. Iguanas are not native there, and they have no natural predators. A tour guide told us to do our part and swerve our cars to hit the iguanas to help control the iguana population. <laughs> he also told us that years ago, the government tried to convince people that iguanas tasted like chicken. That did not work. <laughs> iguanas are everywhere. <laughs> I mean, what about that? You show up on your trip and go, hey, guys, we love you <laughs> just to run over all iguanas with your car. I mean, try. Swerve into traffic. Yeah. Would you get into it? About trying to hit them? I don't know mm. if I could. Feels weird when you yeah. run over they're something. They're big. Like, hey, hey. They're like big. You know, if they're bugs, I don't care. But that's like a big thing. It's like a big thing. You want a feel face. It. You've got a face. It. Oh, yeah. God, you're gonna yeah, feel, you're gonna it. feel yeah. it. You're gonna hear it. Maybe that's happened when Tiger Woods at car wreck. What if that was the cause of it? He was swerving two headed an iguana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one really. Yeah. He was trying to help the environment. Trying to help the environment. <laughs> that's what he should say. He goes, "Well, have you seen the iguana stuff going on over there?" <laughs> I was swerving to get it, got a little out of control. And then everybody was like, Puerto Rico, definitely back. And they'd be like, this guy's a hero. <laughs> All right, game show comments. Ryan Carey Rob. Ryan Carey Rob. I wonder if that's the, like, married. Mm. Or unless that's her. But the, there's a apostrophe. I was going to say the first name's hyphenated. hyphenated. Ryan, Ryan Carey. Apostrophe. What's an apostrophe? <laughs> that's at the title. Half a quotation mark. <laughs> I didn't even use those. Why would I say that? <laughs> I don't even know why they would be used. Yeah. To show possession. It shows possession? Well, that's one way, yeah. Like, I, I own this. So it should be Ryan apostrophe Carrie, like he owns her. 
Ryan's Carry. Ryan's Carry. <laughs> like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Ruth's Chris. Yeah, <laughs> exactly like that. This is Carrie's YouTube face. And she goes, this is her uh, YouTube page. And she's like, but Ryan, obviously I got to run stuff by him. <laughs> Ryan's Carry Rob. Ryan, yeah. <laughs> the fact that Nate has taken a DNA test and found out that he is an Italian but chooses to trust Cousin Ronnie instead tells you everything you need to know about this podcast. I agree. <laughs> mm-hmm. He yep. said, why would they, what do they know? <laughs> Who's doing these DNA tests? I'm shipping them off to some, who knows what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cousin Ronnie's more reliable. They have, yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. He's lived it. He's been around almost one of the longest of the Bargetsis right now. He's our leader. <laughs> he, he would be the famous person in a golf scramble right there. <laughs> <laughs> he actually would because he coached at Vandy and everybody knows him in Nashville. Wow. Oh, oh. So, yeah, you joke backfired there. Yeah. Uh, Andrew. Good job, Andrew. Justin Pruitt. This might be Tennessee coach, right? Uh, Isn't yeah. he Pruitt? Just Jeremy Pruitt. Pruitt. Jeremy Pruitt. Jeremy Pruitt. But this is his family. It's probably his brother. Uh, Pruitt's probably not a common name. Probably most common. <laughs> I can't believe you guys didn't even mention Supermarket Sweep. I remember watching this with my grandmother at school every day 20 years ago. I was the best eight-year-old at identifying name brand products as well as knowing the prices and how to map out a grocery store. Now, there's been a reboot in season two with Leslie Jones. Do yourself a favor and watch every episode. We, I did watch that. I forgot about it, but we, we watched it growing up. You know? Yeah, I guess that would be considered a game show. Yeah, it was a game show. It was kind of a cool game show. Yeah, why would you think it? Maybe not. Well, I don't watch. I haven't watched it, but it's, it's a race. It's shot on location at a grocery store, right? It's, it's a, a set. set. It's a, oh, yeah. it is? Okay. And it's a race, and you're competing. Well, what do you thought it was? Most Just races. Like, watching, like, people's best strategies to. Well, most races that you're competing in aren't game shows. <laughs> but it was like, but you're buying groceries. And there's aspects you got to pick out the right amount of the price. I and get stuff. that it's a little different. I'm just wondering why it doesn't fit your definition of a game yeah. show, or why you would think it would. Well, I guess it's because I haven't seen it. That would be yeah. my biggest. Fear. I thought it was shot on location at a grocery store with like, like different cameras, not yeah. like on a set with a host. Like it'd be okay. just a show about like someone wanting to mm-hmm. go. Here's my strategy, and we would just watch people's strategies <laughs> on how they shot. And they go, huh? That's good. Yeah, I like what she did there. <laughs> she went bread first. Hmm. Uh, Jesse Rothacker, dear Nate, Aaron, and Bling Bling. Hmm. My mom and her siblings were on Family Feud in the early '90s, and my mom gave such a horrible answer that the judges actually stopped the show to help her. During the bonus round, one of the questions was, "Name something imported," and my mom answered, "Birth control." <laughs> At the end of the bonus round. The judge literally interrupted the host over the inter- intercom to explain that they think my mom misunderstood one of the questions and let her take another stab at it. When they repeated, name something imported. More clearly, she got extremely embarrassed and explains, I thought you said name something important. <laughs> they won almost 50K, which sounds like a lot, but was divided between the five of them. Still 10K a lot. Mm. 10K. That's really funny, though. That is very funny. I would think that would almost be a famous clip of it because it's very funny. Yeah, he said he couldn't find it uh, online. I think I think it still came out. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. but he said he couldn't find it online. Yeah, it's that's a shame. Very funny. If that had happened in the Steve Harvey era, it would be on YouTube. You would be millions of views. Yeah, they'd be famous. Yeah, they could be a celebrity golf tournament. <laughs> I did that uh, imported birth control. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember I saw that. that. I remember you. Yeah, I saw like my aunt showed me. <laughs> I was kind of busy though. Uh, Katie Parker. I was a contestant on Will of Fortune. The taxes that are owed on game show winnings are done first in every state, but good old California. So while some people do go broke from it, if you get cash, you are in the clear. The prizes are like you all agreed. A, a defiant burden if you don't win a big enough cash wise. They do prep you a ton, though. Is that is that not the way you say it? A definite. Burden. Oh, <laughs> Man, I don't think it's a defiant. Is a burden is very a burden is defiant. It does. No defy. one likes a burden. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And so you're. Yeah, I think Nate was right on that one. Uh, uh, birth control. 
<laughs> define no a definite right yeah definitely yeah. a definite burden if you don't win big enough cash wise they do prep you a ton though when you're signing all the paperwork and you spend all morning go over, going over all the rules and prize information hmm. you just don't want to walk out of there not ahead right i would almost be like just let everybody do whatever there's katie by the way yeah katie oh really yeah oh wow Preschool teacher. Did she won? Looks like she wins a hundred thousand. A little grand. pep in your step. She won a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars. How many views is that on YouTube? One hundred forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand. Wow. Katie, go be a celebrity at a golf tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I might have you on the podcast. You're more famous than the two that I have. <laughs> I've never been on TV. I need some heat. <laughs> She's been on network. Y'all have been on <laughs> local dish only cable. <laughs> the only TV that y'all been on had multiple dashes in it. Four dash one. Four dash one. <laughs> Who gets it? No, Anybody I wish it was four dash one. It was four dash three. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Not even the like one. Yeah. yeah. So go to four dash one, head on up to four dash three, <laughs> and you were on just straight four, number four. <laughs> Isn't well fortune on number channel NBC? No, it's syndicated. It's, oh. it's on ABC here. No, okay. Number two here. Yeah. Uh, for, or with uh, <laughs> all right. Tom Clark, Three's a Crowd was a newlywed style show from 1979 where the objective was to determine who knows a man better, his wife or his secretary. Oof. That <laughs> aged uh, well. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Almost every episode resulted in one or more of the husbands stumbling into admitting he was cheating on his wife. With his secretary. Whoever had the most points at the end, the wives or the secretaries, would split $1,000. The show was pulled after a few months and a lot of outrage. It su supposedly resulted in 12 divorces. Alex Foster. Happy anniversary to Nate and Shaddy. Oh, that, yeah, because of the name. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's great. I noticed Tom Clark that's a comedian. Very funny. Man, that's funny, man. Three's a crowd. They should do a documentary on that. Yeah, there's videos of this, and it's so weird. They'll answer questions, and then, like, that one shot right there, the women are kind of fighting Yeah, right there. What are the kind of questions that they ask? It was like uh, favorite recipe or something, and the secretary <laughs> said uh, making spaghetti on my body or something like that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. It was something like that, and then the wife, like, gets she gets upset and – I don't know how much of it stage yeah, or how much it's I just, say. I don't know. This is like what got Jerry Springer started. Yeah, it's like uh, Family Feud meets Jerry Springer. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, you covered two comments in a row there? Oh, yeah. I almost read it like it was a letter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was so confused. You did jump right to the next comment. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. No, I did. You Alex thought it was Foster. like a so sincerely. Foster, yeah, I thought it was like a sincerely. I thought, well, that's weird. Why does the top say Tom Clark? I guess that's not his name. And then I thought their name was Alex Foster. And he said, happy anniversary to Nate and Shaddy. And I read it as literally as sincerely. Yeah. And I was pretty confused on it. And I would just moved on, though. And I, that's what I said. Tom Clark's a funny comedian. So maybe that is Tom. But uh, Tom Clark, one of the first comedians I ever met. Chicago. Uh, super funny dude. I think he's in California now. Uh, but I remember he was the first one I first started. Like, he came and talked to our class, and I was like, yeah. So every time I see him, I'm always like, hey. You know, you're just always, like, blown away by the guys you first get to meet uh -huh. in comedy. Is he a long-time Boston comic? Uh, mate, yeah. I might be getting him confused yeah. with someone else. Yeah. Mate, is there? No, you're thinking uh, – Tom Dustin or or you know, Bob Clark? Yeah, that's know. Tom Clark. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. He was in Chicago. It could have been. I, I forget. Lenny Clark, maybe. Lenny yeah. Clark. Lenny so you're Clark. Thinking yeah. Of, yeah. Okay. From Boston. Right. Yeah. There's Tom. He's got a bunch of Conan stuff, stand up stuff. You just look him up. Uh, so uh, yeah, then Alex Foster, <laughs> your own special thing. Happy anniversary to Nate and Shaddy. Thank you so much, Alex. It is our anniversary. And that's the gift I was giving her. Just your comment, Alex. If you know what Shaddy is, you got to listen to episode one. Yeah, people, that's people's favorite thing. Is that in the best of? Uh, I don't think it made the final cut. 
That was one of the. Uh, we one. had some other hitters, man. That was a good one. Wharf. People really liked your brother, Wharf. Yeah. Wharf. That's a good one. We didn't post it all again on Instagram. Uh, this has been a long one so far. Uh, fall is a time for change. We talk to our friends when we are going through things, but they don't always give the advice we need because they just don't know how. Getting feedback and advice from a licensed professional can be way more helpful. When you're in a low point, you might feel alone, but over 50% of America, Americans struggle with their mental health. And I look, I'm a, I've become a lot more around, big fan of this, of talking to someone. And uh, I think it's, it is, you're, you can feel, especially now, you can feel super alone. Uh, and sometimes you need to talk to someone that's not your buddy and you just need to be like, you know, because whatever crazy you think you are, you need to go realize that everybody's crazy. And it's good to sometimes be like, and sometimes your other people are going through it. Some people are not. Uh, but like, you know, I, I, I honestly, it's not, it's a great thing, especially after the year and a half that we've had talk space therapists are experts in dozen, dozens of specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more getting professional help. Isn't weird or weak, which I used to honestly kind of think that I was not a guy. I really did mm-hmm. not a good thing. Uh, it's smart. It is smart. Just go do it. You don't have to go make a big thing about it. Just go help, you know, help yourself out. Because sure, your friend might not know a thing or a thing or two about electricity, but would you let him rewire your house? That's the would you? I might. But <laughs> or go talk to your electrician. No. Go talk to talk to us. Get someone that can you help and you just feel and you feel trust with them. Join Talkspace today and start moving forward with a single message. Just visit talkspace.com and get one hundred dollars one hundred dollars off your first month. When you use promo code Nate at sign up, that's a hundred dollars off at talkspace.com. Promo code Nate. Viore. I'm a big Viore fan. I've been wearing Viore on the bus. Trying to get the I'm trying to almost get, I want, I'm gonna get more and more. I want almost just to be wearing Viore. I wear so much athletic stuff. And it's just so comfortable when on the bus. You know, you have to dress up for the stage. So you're like off stage. You just want to be like comfortable. Mm-hmm. And so I just want to wear all this stuff. Uh, Viore is a new outlook on performance apparel. Perfect if you are sick and tired of traditional old workout gear. I And I have right now, I have the Sunday performance joggers and the core shorts, uh, which I've worked out in. They have that like, you know, it's almost like the underwear is sewed in them. It's like the, because like, no. I'm a big fan of that. Oh, yeah. The, le- the least complicated, the better for me. <laughs> uh, I think I'd be found underwear in everything. You bought jeans and they just mm-hmm. had them in there. Mm-hmm. Just pull ups. Just pull, yeah, just pull ups. Uh, uh, Aaron's wife, Lucy, has the women's daily legging and she mm-hmm. said she loves them. Loves Still them, loves wears them. them all the time. Everything is designed to work out in, but does not look or feel like, ju- like just workout clothes, which I love. It is so comfortable. You will want to wear it. All the time. That's you might as well take advantage of the time of like you're in a world now where we can wear workout stuff everywhere. Yeah. Whether you're even you're working out or not, and people are fine with it. So even though it's kind of crazy because there's people that obviously we're not all of us are working out, but like go be comfortable. Like I mean, you're in a time now where everybody's just doing that. So that's just ride it. Because what if it goes away? Just we we've got a good thing going right now. Mm-hmm. You can wear comfortable athletic stuff. Uh, they make it look so great in everyday life. You know, like I said, where you can work out with this stuff, but it's also great for running errands. Ordering online is very easy. The website is not cluttered. Uh, get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viori.com slash Nate. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash Nate. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75 in free returns. Go to viori.com slash Nate. Finally. Uh, Vivint. We have Vivint. Uh, we have a new and improved home security system. It's so awesome to see who is, you see who's at your door, exactly when they are at your door. We can talk to them too. It's a pretty fun thing to do. You know, you don't have to get up. I mean, it's you can just be like, well, who's there? And do I need to go do it as a FedEx, UPS? They just dropping something off. Most security systems can detect crime, but can yours actively prevent it? When it comes to home security, every system I've looked at can detect somebody coming into your house, but I wanted something that would actually stop them before they even try. When it comes to home security, it's important to have the best. That's why you have got to check out Vivint. They make the best home security system money can buy. But don't take my word for it. Both USA Today and US News picked Vivint as 2021's best overall home security system, and TechCrunch says don't 
DIY, your smart home security system. The pros at Vivint are totally worth the cost. Uh, they've been doing it for over 20 years. Vivint has put home security first, uh, a Vivint smart home security system that is custom built for your your unique home that will give you, give you a peace of mind. Outdoor security cameras, doorbell cameras, smart locks, lighting, lighting, security, sensors, thermostat controls, and more. Uh, they're, they got uh, the smart home pros. Install your Vivint. They came into ours very quick, and they teach you how to use it. So not only is Vivint the best home security, we are giving Nate Land listeners the best offer you will find anywhere for a Vivint home security system. If you go to vivint.com slash Nate and use promo code Nate, you will you will receive up to six months of free monitoring. Uh, monitoring. Wait, did I say it right again? Monitoring. Monitor, monitoring. That's right. <laughs> Up to six months of free monitoring. No, oh, man, I want to. I want to get to the end of Montessori. That word. Why don't you just say that one? That's right. Up to six months of free monitoring. When you go to vivint.com slash Nate and use promo code Nate, or you can even call them at one eight five five v i v i n t zero and use our promo code Nate. That's one eight five five v i v i n t zero with promo code Nate. All right. This week, he's been. Uh, we got a guest. He's been on the road with me, uh, and hold on. Are y'all? You, you better shoot him when he. Oh, okay. You got. It. Uh, all right. So we got a guest this week, uh, and then uh, he's been on the road with me. Excited to have him. Uh, he's from Oklahoma. We're gonna talk about Oklahoma. Uh, so we're having him come in. Everybody, welcome Justin Smith. <laughs> Welcome, Hello. Justin. Hello, everybody. What, what, a, what a great shirt. I'm telling you, man. This is the way to do it. What's great about the shirt is they make them in all sizes. All sizes. All Who sizes. Knew? Cover the spectrum. Yeah. What a spread. Yeah. <laughs> For those listening, you want to describe what the shirt is? If you is? can't see and watch on YouTube, if in, I don't know if you just saw it with Nick's episode, but Nick wore a shirt with four mustaches on it. <laughs> and then so Justin uh, also is wearing a shirt with four mustaches. <laughs> he wore it on the bus and I walked and saw it. And it was, I saw Travis just start laughing. And I was like, what are you laughing at? And he's just sitting there. And you, you don't have the other thing, do you? Uh, oh no no! Yeah. I left it. He has on the bus. He also brought cortisone <laughs> with him. <laughs> I was just gonna put it in the bathroom. See if yeah, it was, uh, fun <laughs> just to bait him. <laughs> that's great. I mean, that's so awesome. good. And when I saw it, I was like, "Well, we got to wear it on the podcast." And then that's uh, hilarious. What's well, the thing about Nick is you get like once Nick gets in your life, like you're like, "Oh man, I miss that dude." Like yeah. all the time. Like oh yeah, big time. Yeah. It's great. And any little thing that happens anytime, I mean, it, I mean, anytime I smoke a cigar, anytime I see like a children's sword, yeah. you know, like I'm always like, oh, I want to call, I'm going to FaceTime yeah. with Nick. Because we bought that sword for him to open the door. <laughs> we told that story, right? Like the, I don't remember I that. I think so. Did we? We had to. I was just picturing him uh, with the sword and that made me I laugh. feel like you told it. Yeah. I can tell real fast and I don't know if it, but on the bus, uh, the door to open the bus, you just got to press the door and it slides open. And so when he, when he was, it was late at night, he was going to get up to just go pee real fast. It's like three in the morning. The front door is closed where Ricky, our bus driver, is driving. And then, so he walks through the door and he presses the door to close it behind him just because everybody's, that's where we're all sleeping. Uh, he goes to the bathroom and then uh, comes back out. Well, the door to go back in is higher. The, it's not as the low. The knob. The knob is higher. So he can't get it. And then, and he can't get to the bus door with Ricky. So... <laughs> Nothing's funnier than me ever <laughs> to picture Nick at 3 a.m. having the problem solve. How does he go to bed? Hmm. Does he just sleep on the couch and just be like, all right, I guess I'm sleeping out here now? Uh, and then so we get up the next morning and there's stuff everywhere like on the floor. And I was like, golly, I guess we swerved the bus last night. And Nick was like, yeah, I, don't, I, mean, I didn't feel it. And I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. And then Nick tells us the story. He goes, well, I got locked out last night. I go, what'd you have to do? He goes, I had to climb up on that shelf and like press that button. I'm go, well, that's where all the stuff was. And that's the stuff that's on the floor. He goes, I didn't do it. I go, I think, I don't think there's any other way you would have felt a swerve like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so yes, I, we, we all miss Nick. Do you uh, have that custom made? No, I, I, well, I went to the big guy store. Yeah. And then I went to a spirit Halloween. 
Yeah. And that's where you grab mustaches like this. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, is, awesome. are those exact ones that he used? I mean, I, I, I think I, they look like exactly. They looked exactly like it. Yeah. I was, as soon as I saw them, yeah. I was like, oh, man, this is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and it, you know what it's like to go to Spirit and uh, put three packs of mustaches on the, when you already have a mustache? Yeah. You're like, oh, man, there's nothing but yeah. trouble happening yeah. right yeah. now. He's What's not. going on here, buddy? You're like, I got four friends that want to be like me. <laughs> uh Welcome to the show. Justin, uh, uh, me and Justin have been friends for uh, a long time now. Yeah, man. Ten years or something? Yeah. Uh, Since the first time you came to Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Came to OKC. Big tornado happened that day. That's right. What took you? Tornado hunting and you saw an oil rig for the first time? Saw an oil rig for the first time. Right. Uh, We just went out there and like you dropped an envelope off or something. Yeah, well, I was. uh, that's back when I was working in the oil field, so I I would drop filters off. Yeah. So I took him out there and he thought it was going to be like some- I thought it was going to be like a a, a, storm chaser. Like a tour. Yeah, like and he then, thought it's gonna be like Armageddon, where uh, like they're yeah. going, you know, the opening scene, or you know, yeah. it's gonna be, you know, oh, Japanese right, businessmen. Right, right. Harry, yeah. like he's, yeah, the, yeah. and then I just walk out there and get a guy to sign something, and he's like, "That's it." Yeah. We drove an hour and a half. Yeah, I was in the back of a truck, <laughs> going like this yeah. the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just running an errand with you. Like I thought we were, you yeah. know, but uh, yeah. So we started becoming friends there, become great friends there. Yeah. He comes out a lot with me uh, from Oklahoma. Yeah. As you can see, big OSU fan. Yeah. That's kind of, you got to choose that in Oklahoma, right? Like, yeah, that's, people, a big, that's a big thing. It's, it's a, a big choice. This is the blue collar choice. Yes. This is the this is the Vanderbilt. I was yeah. going to ask, choice. we talked about this uh, one of the last episodes, but you can, can you tell a lot about somebody by which team they choose? Oh, of course. It's like, it's like if you live in New York, it's like Jets versus yeah. Giants. Yeah. Okay. Or like Yankees versus yeah. Mets. I'd imagine everybody that roots for them is from Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. And then people from Oklahoma or Texas. You can do anybody. Like anybody. People just that like to, you know, win championships. Yeah. yeah. Basically. <laughs> but it's going to mean more when they win it. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So if I moved to Oklahoma, I would be an OSU fan. Right. Because mm-hmm. I, I would be that's you know, I well, like Oklahoma too though. But I mean I it's uh but I if I had to choose, I think I'm gonna go OSU because that's what I'm I like the idea of like when you win, it means our coach has a mullet. You know, you like it's uh, yeah. I'm forward. working my way around the table. I mean Aaron's yeah. I'm converting Aaron. Aaron's got OKC. You know, o- OKC Dodgers hat. Yeah. Wow. Did you go yeah. to one of the games? I went by the stadium. There wasn't a game going on. Oh, that park is so beautiful. I went by there. That whole area of town's awesome, man. Jim Thorpe Museum down there. I saw that. Jim Jim Thorpe's a famous Oklahoman. Yeah, Yeah. one of the one of the greatest one of the greatest athletes that's ever lived. Yeah, he knows a lot about Oklahoma. I'm a Mm -hmm. big fan. He talks to us a lot. (laughs) Did you go to OSU? No, no, no. I went to a Christian college. Yeah. So I went. I went a different. I went a different way. I wish I would have. Yeah. That would have been. I would have. That would have been amazing. I still, you know, you ever do that thing where, like, when you go to like a college football game and you look at all the students and you're like, man, they're having yeah. so much fun yeah. down so much there. Fun. Yeah. And then you try to bring some of that student section yeah. energy into like season ticket holders. And yeah. They're like, hey, can you sit down, please? Yeah. <laughs> My feet hurt. Yeah. I got gout. Yeah. I got gout. <laughs> yeah. 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 A lot of gouts down there. You know? <laughs> yeah. You, you get an age and you're like, that's, yeah, that's why you go over there. Mm-hmm. Don't come over here. Michigan's like that. I'm in a Michigan game and you thought it's going to be, their student section's wild, and the rest of it's kind of like, yo, sit down and watch the game. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not you, – th- you think it's going to be rowdier than it is, and it's uh, – the one game that I went to, so maybe it is other – I'm sure when they play Ohio State or Michigan State, it probably is. They played Iowa. Uh, awesome stadium. And then uh, – but it was like a little – I was like, oh, y'all are – I mean, sold out to 107,000 people. Yeah, yeah. But it's everybody's kind of – which, I mean, I think I would like more now. To be honest, like I think I would enjoy that experience to be like, yeah, well, go watch the game. Oh, so then you were wanting everyone to stand up. I don't. I mean, I was younger. So yeah. I was probably twenty four and I twenty five or something. And I think you're basically the same age as those students. Yeah, yeah. And so you're thinking like, is it going to be so rowdy? We're going to be yeah. screaming everybody. Yeah. And then you go there and you're like, no, everybody's like, you know, they're all they all probably went there, grew up there, and they're older and they just want to and they sit and watch the game, which is probably the way it should be. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I like I I don't like when a team does well for like a long time yeah. because then then it is very much like that NFL atmosphere where it's like, hey, can you guys sit down? Like when Oklahoma State, we were bad for so long, and then all of a sudden we got like Barry we, Sanders. We, well, no, I mean even <laughs> after that we yeah. got. You know, it's kind of like we had these uh, Rashawn Woods, who was a yeah. very famous. Yeah. He beat Oklahoma twice, but we went from being really bad when we had less miles, and then all of a sudden, Gundy comes along, changes the entire program. You know, runs off a lot of riffraff, and then all of a sudden, the team starts getting good. And now you have all these fans that are like, "Oh my gosh, like we're we're good now." So now everybody's like into it. For the long time, we're like, "Nah, we're gonna mess it up." 
Yeah. We're going to yeah. mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. We're up by – well, one time we were playing University of Texas with Vince Young was playing. Yeah. And we were up 21, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the one of the greatest college football yeah. players of all time is on the other side. And we're just sitting the whole time. We're like, man, we're just going to we're, we're just gonna enjoy gonna this. <laughs> we're going to enjoy this because it's going to all go down. Yeah. And then right before halftime, that famous clip of him where he does like the pump fake yeah. and you see – the you see the uh fo- the, our linebacker just fly through the screen <laughs> and he runs sixty yards yeah. for a touchdown. That was moment everybody in the stadium goes, you know, this was fun. Yeah, this yeah. first half was a lot of fun. Uh-huh. We're gonna do a lot of sit in the second half. <laughs> and what did they do? They blow you all out. Oh yeah, they oh, killed yeah. us by like twenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they went on a one. lot of swings. Yeah. in Oklahoma State yeah. football. Who's the big donor in Oklahoma State? Boone Pickens. Yeah, yeah. he passed uh, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it T Boone T-Boon. Pickens? That's what's crazy is when you. Because you just, uh, at Oklahoma State, you're just like, oh, it's just some guy. Mm. And then you watch, like, The Wolf of Wall Street, and the joke is like, ah, T. Boone Pickett just walked in my yeah, office. Yeah, yeah. You know, they mm. talk about him there, and like, uh, like American Psycho. Like, he's, any any Wall Street movie, they bring him up, and you're like, you mean that guy? Yeah. <laughs> that they call him, like, a corporate raider, and you're like, that, you mean the guy that has to, like. He was just from He's so sweet Oklahoma. looking when he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah he but went just to like a State. brilliant wall street dude yeah and he yeah. made like tons of money he yeah. was a guy that he would go into corporations basically take them over um i can't wait to hear the emails about me doing yeah. this thing uh but <laughs> he would take over business and then kind of sell off its assets yeah he was that guy yeah you know whenever you know they point to a shipyard it's like you remember when i used to build, make ships he was the guy that would come in and like you know sell everything yeah he was that guy is it good or bad i mean depends on how you, you if you worked at the shipyard it wasn't bad. great great yeah. for oklahoma state <laughs> yeah yeah, OSU. That's right. Yeah. We got a great stadium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it is a famous name. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, it's a great name. Yeah, T Boone. It's all time great name. Yeah, T Boone Pickens. Yeah. I just didn't. I just didn't like that he did the thing where he he would always say, the, "I'm the biggest Oklahoma State fan," and you're like, "Dude, mm-hmm. he's sitting up in the box." <laughs> Yeah, but he's giving the most money to them. I know, but dude, if I had the money, I'd give it. <laughs> you think I wouldn't give it? I know, but he does have the money and he is giving it. <laughs> right. per- a, percentage a, wise, do you think you give as much as he does? I mean, I'm just going to tell you something. If it came to eating Chipotle for the day yeah. or making sure I got to go to like an away game yeah. or go see them play, I'm going to skip Chipotle. But he's paying for the stadium. And right. Stuff. But yeah. I'm saying, like, percentage wise. Have you ever been to an away game? Oh, I used to go all the time. Okay, yeah. away games are my favorite. You go to Kansas I just, State. I mean, like all yeah. there's all these schools that are amazing away games. What's your etiquette when you go to an away game? Do you wear all the OSU? Oh yeah, gear? I wear I wear all the gear. You just don't care, and, you, and you're respectful. You, oh, I, because right. I, like I like I like I like giving people a piece of our culture. Yeah, because right. when I when I sit in the stadium, our season our family season tickets are right by the where the visitors allotment. Uh-huh. So all the players family that come to the games oh, they sit cool. right next to us mm. so we it, it's kind of cool to see like because we get to see their culture too like kansas state is still one of my favorite big 12 schools because they're kind of like us just in the north yeah and so they're very like blue collar people uh like when you go to their when you go tailgate with them there's like a big pasture just yeah. on, mm. and then you just go and you just hang out in the pasture and i'm like man this is I love this. It's this is awesome. Great. It's great. You guys, everybody's cooking. If you if you don't have anything, like if you just have drinks, you know, other teams will come and invite you over. Yeah. You know, you don't get that in Norman. You know, yeah. You know, the other well, team. y'all, that's a big rivalry. Yeah. So that would be y'all do that to Oklahoma fans? Or y'all treat them I the mean, same? I mean, I think we're we're more cordial than they are. Yeah. But they also have like I mean, when you when you know, you think you're better than everybody else because yeah. you got I mean, they got the banners, they got the championships. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. You know, I understand that's, you know, that's the way you want to live your life. You want to be the Yankees. That's fine. You Would know? you rather win a uh, one national championship or beat Oklahoma? Excuse me. For... We have a national championship. Oh, Thank when? you very much. 1945. Oh, wow. That was yeah, a big they year. didn't vote on it until yeah. five years ago. So but we went got off it. To the Civil War. <laughs> uh, but if you could pick right now, you beat Oklahoma for 20 straight years or win one national championship one national and then champ- lose. Every year to Oklahoma. One national championship. Yeah. Because I think that would do more for our school. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm always like, I want to, I'm more now, like, I, because everybody complains about bowl games now. I love bowl games because, like, also my uncle was, like, a head football coach. Mm-hmm. So I know those players, you know, work hard all year. And they're still kids. People yeah. don't seem to oh, understand. They're, so they're still, they're still kids. They're still, they're, I mean, they're putting their bodies on the line for nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, they get those little packages when they go to like they get like a like a you know they'll get like a hair dryer and like a PlayStation and all these things and this big pa- that's a big spread oh, yeah. but there's all these <laughs> there's all these things that they get and they get to go on vacation and their family gets to go on vacation yeah. yeah and it's like they they work hard 
even if it's in you know Shreveport, Louisiana. I've been to there. It's for still the Vandy, we went, yeah. Yeah. the Vandy. Uh, but even then, like the uh, Weed Whacker Bowl or what? Yeah. no, uh, NC State, I think. Yeah, they, uh, I feel like it was NC. We State. lost. It feels like they a bad boy mower bowl, though, for sure. Yeah. Though, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Cajun Bowl or something? Kraft Mac and Cheese Bowl. Yeah. No, I thought it was like the we were in the Cheese Bowl last year. It was, it was like the Shreveport bowl? bowl or something. I'm telling you, that Cheese It plug is great because they put that. Their whole thing is like, hey, listen, we know we're ridiculous, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Cheese It's in everything. Yeah. So they were they the like the Gatorade bath after is like Cheese It's. Oh, oh really? Oh my uh, gosh! There's a picture of Gundy getting doused with Cheese Its. Yeah. And then they have. Like Brandon Presley is one of our receivers. He caught three touchdown passes. There's just him just eating a box of Cheez Its after. Oh, it's yeah. Look at it. Oh, it's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's really And cool. it looks like they mixed it with water. Oh, it's so good. It's just wet Cheez Its. Yeah. It's just great. It's, it's great. Like, it's my favorite thing. That is my fantasy, by the way. Like if I ever if I ever get like a like a big special, just have somebody come on and just dump Cheez Its on top with of it. With wet Cheez Its yeah. yeah. I love it. We used to argue. I feel like we could make that happen. That's I think we can make it yeah. very specific. Yeah. You just had to throw it out there. <laughs> I mean, is there, there's no other. There's no other Gatorade bath thing. Like the, the getting dumped, like uh-huh. in sports, is like the coolest thing to mm-hmm. me. Yeah. And there's no like for a coach even. There's yeah. not. There's nothing like that. I mean, yeah. basketball they do like the b- bottle thing yeah. when somebody comes in. I get it. Sports are great. You want to do it after just a special. Yeah. I mean, even a Tuesday. Yeah. Wake up that just way. Like, I'll wake up, up yeah. that way. Of yeah. course. Just a good you set. just have a weird fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a good set? It was fine. <laughs> it, I didn't kill. I didn't bomb. Just one of those that's like, yeah, those sets that you're like, I think they were, they wouldn't complain about me. <laughs> you know? All right. Cheese it, it is. And then we just dump them on you. You just get famous enough. You're just like, hey, listen, uh, don't ever go, don't ever go to Cleveland. Yeah, because uh, I put in my writer that I need a cheese at bath immediately when I come off stage, and guess who didn't have a cheese at bath ready for me? Yeah, that's they looked you. at me. Like, they looked at me like I was crazy. You're the new uh, green M and M's. That's right. Be, when your writer gets to go, I would like uh, cheese it's poured on me <laughs> afterwards, and they're like, okay. and not just one, and not yeah. just one guy. I need yeah. a person on each side yeah. to really get the lift. I, I want to go. celebrate it. Exactly. Wet cheese it's wet cheese wet cheese it's yeah. We used to debate, uh, not debate, but we would discuss. Uh, Who's more likely to happen? You get to the level where you could be a celebrity guest picker on game day, or Vanderbilt getting good enough that they would be the place on game day. But they played on game day. <laughs> they did years yeah. ago. But after that, now, yeah, you, you're way ahead of Vanderbilt right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're going at least the right direction. Yeah, going the right direction. Could I be if they go to Vanderbilt? Would I be big enough that they would? There's so many country singers here, though, that it's like. But are any of them outspoken, ardent Vanderbilt no. fans? Your list on Wikipedia is one of Vanderbilt's great athletes. Oh, really? Yeah. No. It says notable Vanderbilt players or athletes, and you're one of them that's really? listed on really? there. Yeah. I mean, who I makes the sign out. after they have like a great, like a, you, every late night set, you, you do the yeah. thing. Yeah, that's I crazy. think it's the list. Go to the, well, right. there's a separate, I'll find yeah, it. Just yeah, it was the second one. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I would love to be a game day picker. I mean, they came, we beat Auburn when they came. That was amazing. Uh, it was so crazy when they came to get. You're just like, I can't believe they're here. Yeah, I mean, and we won. We won. Yep, we won. They're going to come one other time. Uh, well-known American football athletes include former students Nate Bargetsy, <laughs> right ahead of Jay Cutler. Right ahead of Jay Cutler. <laughs> right if Jay I Cutler. would have known this, <laughs> I would have shown Jake. I'm gonna. I we I'm gonna we I'm gonna get it and we're gonna text it to Jay. <laughs> I'm above Jay. <laughs> I mean, I know all the, like, oh man. So, uh, yeah, dude, who, whoever did that is awesome. <laughs> that's I mean, that's so great. So great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Vanderbilt's that's been, first football team. I was at that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd beat Nate. <laughs> Brian didn't want them to start football because I don't, I don't agree with score it. That because game. we had a good thing going here. I don't think we should start a new thing. <laughs> and then, even back then, I was like, can everyone just sit down? Yeah. <laughs> Why do we have to stand? The score of that game was two to three. Two to three. Oh, my gosh. If that. What's the first thing about Oklahoma? Uh, it's a Choctaw word. Oklahoma means people in Huma, which translates as red. Mm-hmm. So it's red people. Red people. Uh, we talked about that on the. We yeah. talked about that on the bus. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah. It's not offensive. I don't. I mean, it's 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 a native language. Yeah. Okay. I think you should change it. But yeah, you calling people red? You call them red people? <laughs> That's where that name comes from. Yeah, or but they. they but it was the Choctaw that. that 
that oh, came okay. up with it. Yeah, yeah it's it's time. it's our. I mean, like, I mean, I'm not saying I'm offended. I that's don't, what don't. that's the whole thing is like. It's kind of a thing where it's like, oh, this is what we. This is our thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm not. I don't. Obviously, I don't, I don't ever care. Anxious. But I think it's just very funny to be like. It is like, but see, this what is what it, it this, is the, this is the problem. Somebody that like, yeah. like people that live there, are like, no, no, this is this is our hair. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then go ahead. Do it I think you should call it the football club. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> football, football, club. football team or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The, Has there the, been any talk seriously about someone wanting to change the name? No, of the state? they don't even. They don't even know. They don't know no. until until somebody. Uh, from Seattle that looks well, like Aaron yeah. oddly enough Ooh, that's true. <laughs> whereas Just an OKC goes, I, had to I, be cool I think you should I think you should change this <laughs> yeah and you're like oh, okay you, should, you think we should change our so you want so you, yeah. I, what, is that what you like? well we did purple nah. people eaters we got rid of that <laughs> and now your whole state is named after red people <laughs> that's what they call them. Uh, Oklahoma and Texas are separated by the Red River Man, you're just obsessed That's with the too. color, huh? Why can't well, this think, river be just normal? Yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just be a regular. Red. He's just out there living his life, man. Yeah. And y'all got to give him a color. <laughs> is, he, is it red? Yeah. Um, well, no, it's uh, that red river is all just because of Oklahoma is filled with red dirt. Oh, yeah. So that's why even like the music, the country, yeah. famous country music is kind of like edgy. Yeah. Is called red dirt music. It's because even in Stillwater, oh. like all the earth is red. It's like clay. So... Red is also a big part of our culture because of that's that that's the way our soil looks. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So and it's also a farming. So everybody knows what. I mean, red it just is. it just means kind of it's yeah. Being red dirt is like another way of saying blue collar is basically what yeah. it is. But red it's a big dirt. part of our culture. I think I like red dirt more than blue collar. Yeah. Red dirt sounds kind of cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I want to be red dirt. Yeah. Just start saying it. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Of course. I give you permission. Okay. <laughs> just this once though. Well, we are red people. So. <laughs> yeah. You call yourself an oki. I don't got to think about it. I, I so, sometimes yet yeah, when like when when Herb Street says Oki, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. But like when somebody else like if if Nate called me an Oki, I'm cool. Like yeah. when somebody difference? else it's country, like it's it's not like it's not poking fun. Where is like, he from? He from Ohio? Yeah. We're yeah, but, now. but he's like he's very much like he used to call us Oki State. Yeah. You're like, I don't you know, yeah, nobody calls it that. I don't like I don't like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't, but that, the boy can't even handle an earthquake. Ooh, you know, you ever see that that photo of him? Yeah. There's a famous photo. He's on he's on the air, and there's an earthquake happens in Stillwater when he's calling a game, and it looks like it's like it's cra- it's the cra- see that there yeah. it is right there. That's his face. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's the, a highly educated man. That's his reaction yeah. when there was chaos. Yeah. right there. <laughs> I mean, the ground shaking, uh, but I do love. That's very funny. Oh, we, we put him on. We put him on the projector. That's the. Yeah. That's our. That's our. Thing. Oh, oh man. Well, I oh, love so that. Great. I mean, I love it that you're like, what a loser! <laughs> <laughs> An earthquake. You can't take a little earth moving around. Surprisingly, I mean, the first time I ever felt an earthquake. If anybody's never felt one, I've never felt one. It's wild, dude. It's the most. Uh, like un like you have no control. There's nowhere you can go. Mm-hmm. Like you're just on the ground and you're like, I can't go. Do y'all get a lot of them? Uh, well, we have a lot in the last uh, 15 years. Yeah, because of fracking. Of, uh, yeah, just because of. Is it because of fracking? Yeah. I don't even know what fracking is. It's essentially when you drill into the ground, they shoot water into yeah. the ground so that it makes a well more productive. Basically, okay. Like so instead of having to drill 15 holes, you drill one hole. Like an oil well. Yeah. Oh. Or you can you can do it with a bunch of like, like it makes the oil come up quicker. It's it's it's, it's a whole process, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. basically it's it's creating more of it's more friction in the ground. Yeah. And so people, are you for fracking or against fracking? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a big political thing? I think so. It's kind of very funny to be like that's like I, he's that guy hates I, fracking, and you're like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> and you get a big fracking conversation. From 2014 to 2017, Oklahoma exceeded California in earthquakes. Magnitude three or larger. Wow. wow. My only earthquake experience was in Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, was, really? I did a terrible casino gig in Miami. Oh, my gosh. That place is. I got food poisoning <laughs> at that place so bad. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was, you know it was, the gig he's talking about? Yeah, I did. Because I did it. I did it. I did it a, a long time it's ago. It's a terrible gig. But that morning, uh, my hotel earthquake happened. I was so excited. I was like, that's the best part of this whole weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very small one. Yeah. I was like, I think that was an earthquake. And I turned on How the news. bad and sure enough. was the show that the earthquake was the <laughs> highlight of the trip? Yeah. Pretty bad. I, huh? I called you that. 
that weekend to tell you. Yeah. It was the same day your commercial came out for AT and T. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, we were talking on the phone about it. And I was like, I just felt an earthquake. I was so excited. Yeah. The gig was terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really, really, really bad. I felt it in California. I mean, there was one I felt. I felt them now. I maybe felt two or three. I felt the one in New York, which was crazy. We were living in New York, and uh, you just don't think they have them. And uh, it shook. Laura was working. That's when she had a real job. I like had made, She made all the money. And I was at home playing video games. And she's up in one of the big buildings. And so she was up at the top when it happened. And then I remember I, f- I felt it. And I thought, I looked out and there was a dump truck driving by. So I go, was that a dump truck? Mm-hmm. I go, it did that. And I think I felt it again. And I was like, this is, this is how neighbors don't talk in New York. Is we, I, we all walked out to the, it, everybody has the same reaction. We all walk out to the, our patios in the front. Everybody's looking at everybody. Nobody talks. Really? Like we all just had an earthquake. No one goes, do you feel that? You did that? We all just stare at each other. And then just walk back in our homes. You wouldn't give a like pretty crazy, huh? Something like that. No one or did, what no. was that? Yeah, yeah. No one did. We all I mean, I remember seeing all of us. There was, I mean, honestly, eight people come out and we just and then went back in. <laughs> Almost like we looked at each other and said, I don't want to do this, man. And then we went back in. Mm-hmm. That yeah. that uh Miami is it how you say it? Miami? Miami. Is Miami. What, yeah. it's spelled like Miami. It doesn't it doesn't it's it's there was a, a plug up front near the stage, and a woman got up during the show, went up there, charged her phone. Uh-huh. Went back I do remember this. And then, yeah, I have video. Yeah. And then later went back up and checked it during the show yeah. while I'm on stage to see what messages she'd missed. Yeah. That was the kind of gig it was. Yeah, uh, it was, riveting stuff. They make you the They buffet. were like, you were bringing riveting. Like, yeah. She goes, I'm going to go check my... I always think the confidence of that is crazy. Yeah. To be like, how would you go, oh, there's a plug. People are obsessed with plugs. They want them so bad, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you watch them just hunt. You look at the airport. Yeah, at the airport is just crazy. Like a guy's laying under a trash can, mm-hmm. and you'd be like, "What's he doing?" And people, no one cares. He goes, "There's a plug," and everybody goes, "Oh, I understand that." <laughs> and you're like, "How do you get your life together?" And if your phone dies, it dies, and move on. Get one little extra charger, I guess, if you're if it's that bad. But what are you doing? It's nine a.m. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're already had had that kind of day. Yeah. That you're like a fiend trying to find, you know, I mean, just like you're <laughs> under people. You don't, there's no regard to any human being. <laughs> They're just sitting there, just to crawl under you. <laughs> and everybody kind of lets it happen because they, I understand. You lift yeah. your feet. You lift yeah. your feet for me. They go, I understand. I've been there, buddy. I've been there, buddy. You got to look for that plug and they're hunting it like a. <laughs> Have you ever seen the, the plug stickers that people put on the airports? No, they just—they're just stickers that look like an outlet. Oh yeah, oh, just, just to mess with people. On, yeah, yeah. You just put them on the wall. Yeah, and I've—I've I've seen them a couple of times. I'm just like that's. I just yeah. it makes my day. Yeah, people just go up and hit yeah. it. And so my bad. favorite is when I when they have the outlet in the chair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's and great. I'm sitting there oh, yeah. and I just got my huge hamstring. Yeah. with my with my extra satchel just sitting here. Yeah, and they just gotta hey can, uh, like they're trying to decide if they're gonna ask <laughs> yeah. me to move or not. Yeah. <laughs> Because they can't be like plugging in. It's like, dude, I I, I can't even. I can't yeah. even get my own down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a mirror? I can maybe yeah. like. <laughs> well, people won't go out of their way. That's the thing. Like, if I need, like, if you need a plug, and this is, this is, I know people always say my rules that I have made up for it. That I think everybody should follow. I understand that. So do whatever you want. Uh, but they, I don't like when they don't care. Like to me, it's like if you need a plug, at least go try to find an empty spot. But people will. I mean, people have like been like, can I use that plug that you're standing in front of? And then they just put it in there. And you want to go like, well, I'm, maybe I'm eating right here. Mm-hmm. If you're at the, the airport and you're just eating, you know, and there's those plugs that are kind of everywhere, and but we're all sitting up there. Mm-hmm. And someone's like, can I have that plug? I'm just, And they would leave their phone up there to charge it. You're like, well, you got a problem. Yeah. Like, how do you not go walk? Go walk somewhere. Mm-hmm. Go walk down. There's got to be an empty seat or next to a wall that's not you know but i want to be right here i can only be right here all right uh it's like, it like y'all left <laughs> no no people I, listen at home they're like i think you i think everybody walked out <laughs> i agree with you uh oklahoma became a state in 1907 a little too soon late, i thought man. yeah we could have used a little maturity. i think you little we could have let that wine yeah. bottle sit in that cellar for a yeah. little bit yeah it's pretty crazy there are people alive that when they were born, Oklahoma was in a state. Yeah. Yeah. 
Only about 10 of them, but there are some. Yeah. I mean, I just, but I, I also love like people don't, I mean, Oklahoma is great because like for the longest time, like we've had so many people. It's like we've, we've been a life raft for so many groups of people where you have, you know, for the longest time, uh, native people spent, you know, a lot, a lot, of, a long time in Oklahoma because it was in, it was, it was Indian territory. And then it was kind of like for a while, it was outlaw territory. So everybody would rob in the areas and then they would hide out in Oklahoma. And then when the land run happened, you had all these immigrants from the East Coast that didn't have anything. That's why there's, you know, Irish and Czechos. Like when, in my hometown, there's Czechoslovakian people. Like there's a huge gathering every year. Like it's a huge thing. So you have all these different groups of, you know, like Eastern European people all over Oklahoma. Is it a life raft for the outlaws? Yeah. It's that was my, the, my Little League football team. Yeah. named the outlaws. Well, it's funny. Like your other two groups are like, People that needed the life raft, and the other group, like all the people that killed people, they'd come here and hang out at Oklahoma because uh, we were cool with it. I mean, cattle rustling, you know, nobody, yeah. nobody, nobody has to get hurt. No, there, yeah, you know, still some cattle. Just take, just taking somebody's livelihood, mm-hmm. yeah, and selling them to somebody else who go was to probably, Oklahoma. They yeah. clearly don't care. Yeah. They let you do whatever. Just don't steal here. Go steal from everybody else. <laughs> that was just always my favorite word. Yeah. Is growing up was rustling, 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 rustling cattle. cattle. It's called the Sooner State because people try to sneak into Oklahoma and make land claims sooner than they were allowed. Yeah, that's during the land run. Oh, yeah. So the they for the do you guys know the land run? Right? No. Do you know? Is it the premise of Far and Away? I mean, you mean the actual thing that Far and Away is based? I like he's like you know the thing of Far and Away. Do you guys that was real? Like, <laughs> what is it? I don't know. What so saying. basically, what they did was is they wanted to give Oklahoma away. Yeah. To people. Yeah. So what they did was is they had the the army set up all the way around the state. And they divide it up into yeah. a bunch of like large acre plots. Yeah. And they had everybody line up and the army fired off a cannon at noon and you just went. And the whole thing was you tried to run to get a stake and then you had to go claim the land. That's the whole thing. So Sooners, which is with the University of Oklahoma, you know, the other school. <laughs> yeah. Their whole thing is there were people that tried to sneak across the land, like the before the time. Yeah. And then they got the plots early. That was the whole thing. And so Sooners is what they called those people. And how mm. would they go? You just put it in the land and you're like, how do you know what? You just, like, they had they had different and, checkpoints set up. Yeah. So you would just go and claim it. And then it was your land. And it'd be like, you do this. And you're like, so I got from that yeah, cone from to that to cone. Yeah. In the movie Far and Away, it's Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Yeah. He has the fastest horse. So he outruns some people yeah. to get the land. But I think her parents sneak on. Right and plant yeah, a flag yeah. to yeah because like they were was, running the horse around like it was tired yeah 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 Sooners oh yeah it's the bad people yeah so like what we're saying is the University yeah. of Oklahoma okay they are cheaters yeah. <laughs> the University of Oklahoma <laughs> is named after cheaters yeah. yeah well you're talking Airland not a lot of people listen <laughs> so uh, I don't know if maybe that's gonna if that's gonna get out that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you know that was happening the whole time no that was great <laughs> that was great Oklahoma has been described as the world's prison capital 1,079 of every 100,000 residents <clears throat> have been imprisoned wow. highest inc- incarceration rate of any state higher than any conser- incarceration state rate of any country in the world right outlaws uh, yeah outlaws. outlaws so because of that that's why you're never, it's in your butt have you been yeah. in jail uh, not yet not yet I like not yet. You not don't have to say no. I don't know. I'm, I can't say no. Yeah, because you don't know. Might be. I mean, who knows? Man, who knows? That's what. That's what you do. You're rolling the dice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think. I mean, I think I got the facial hair for it. I'm just working one thing at a time. <coughs> yeah. We worked out today. I'm on my way. I mean, yeah. I think you get caught, quit, but. I mean, I can maybe get some toothbrush tattoos. Yeah. We can, you know, yeah. just ba- baby steps. <laughs> yeah. I think they'd walk in. You'd be sitting there, and they'd be like, "All right, we gotta go to jail." There's gotta be an app for that, like you know, like thirty, like thirty days to a marathon, couch to marathon. Yeah, mm-hmm. with a couch to jail. There's gotta be an yeah. app for that. Oh yeah, you can just go to jail. Get ready. Be a good TV show. I think the couch people. is going to jail because you're not going to be able to get away. Is what I've been saying for three jokes now. <laughs> you would get. So you're the the couch is it's couch to freedom, right? Because you're going to jail. You're going to go in there, and then it's going to be like, we got to run. And then it's like, they're going to just go after the other people and better come back and get you. Right. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll just we'll, yeah. we'll swing back around. He'll still be here. They go, just let me. They go, should I get this one? And he goes, I nah, would get him. Uh, that's just these <laughs> other guys. <laughs> they go, that's. Those, those guys are what we call runners. Yeah. These guys, 
<laughs> we did uh, just go on without me. <laughs> we worked out today. Yeah. So we got after it. He pulled more weight than I did. Yeah. Yeah. I think it hurt more than me. That's 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 my whole life, basically. Yeah. That is. Yeah. <laughs> good or bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You could be. You could be robbing some banks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a friend that robbed a bank. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It was. It was. Uh. It was a. It was a weird. It was a weird thing. How would he do it? That, that's that's a crazy because he wore like a nun's habit from like he watched the movie The Town. Yeah. Which is uh. I mean, it's kind of crazy that he was like he he robbed a a local bank from our hometown. Yeah. And he like drove his own car. So everybody knew. And then he drove back to like his house. Like he just didn't like it's like he watched this movie mm -hmm. where they're like they're like third generation bandits. They have false DNA, switch cars, a whole plan. They have automatic weapons. You know, they have they do everything right. And he watched the co he saw the costume. He's like, well, I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah. After that, like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna figure it out on the fly after that. Is he in jail? He was. Yeah, he's and out he, now. And then he got out. Like they yeah. just came to his house and said, "Yeah, they just they you? just knocked on the door and he and he answered and he's like, oh oh, I should throw this mask away.' Yeah, you know, <laughs> oops, am I still wearing this? Yeah, do you rob a bank today? He's like, do you think I robbed a bank? Today? <laughs> Does it look like I robbed a bank? Yeah. <laughs> do you guys do you guys have any footage of anybody robbing yeah. a bank today? Yeah, you actually do with that. He told me Did I he get money. I saw. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. He, he tried to deposit it in his account at that yeah. bank. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys do deposits. He robbed. <laughs> and went to the back. Took. Then he went and just stood in the back of the line with the same gun costume and waited. And he goes, "I'd like to deposit this money." Uh, checking, please. <laughs> checking. Please. <laughs> no, he. Uh, I had a cigar with him after he uh, when he got out. Yeah. And he told me. Uh, he goes, "It's really kind of funny because now, like every time, there's a bank robbery." in the city i have to immediately think about what my alibi is yeah because he's got like a parole officer and all this so oh, he's like yeah. so he's like oh, i'm just i'm always like like because like as soon as there's a bank robbery he says he gets a phone call from his oh uh, really from his guy so yeah. he's got to make sure that he's like oh here i am this yeah. is me he's always gonna be around he's, he's posting this on instagram yeah. hey this is me yeah. sitting here working out yeah <laughs> not, not robbing a bank <laughs> did he get any money like how much did he rob? Did he pass I mean, a pass a note or have a gun? No, he just I think he went in with with just like a pistol. Oh, and then do you know how much money he got? Or I yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't I, I don't think he had time to count it honestly. Oh, uh, it, it was it was I mean they caught him within yeah a day like like it wasn't not, I mean it was super it was, quick yeah yeah you can't go back home like we literally heard it we heard about it happening and then we saw it was him oh like, y'all put like, it together it was like bang bang no I mean yeah. like. It kind of, I hadn't talked to people in my high school for a long time, and then it just made the rounds. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. It's like, I, I know I haven't talked to you, to, talked to you in 10 years, because yeah. I didn't even go to my high school reunion. Yeah. You're like, hey, I haven't talked to you in 10 years, but hey, did you see this? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Why don't you go to the reunion? I just, I, I don't How know. How many kids went to your high school? Uh, My class was like 500. Oh. That's pretty big. I just don't. I, I If I was, it's that big, I get it. Like, I'm, I'm such a small class. Mine was 56 or 7. And so I still talk to most of them, and then I love a I love a reunion. I yeah. love it, but I have a small class. I could see five hundred. I could see you're like, there's no point to it. Like why? Like you you had so many people there that you're like, whoever you're talking to is like you're like, yeah, I still talk to the people that I want to talk to. Right. I kind of understand that. I just I really just didn't because like I was like I was doing this, but mm -hmm. I wasn't like I wasn't where I wanted to be, and I I felt kind of like so like people knew that I was doing it, mm -hmm. but that I wasn't like. You know, yeah. I hadn't, I hadn't, other, I mean, like, I I did live at the Apollo, but I mean, I went to a, high, the, like, the whitest high school on the planet, so they don't even know, I mean, they're like, yeah, I yeah. have no idea, you know, <laughs> yeah. except for one stoner kid, I had, I, <clears throat> I had math with one kid in this remedial math class, yeah. and he's the guy that told me about Mitch Hedberg, which was, like, amazing, like, he was, oh, like, yeah. the coolest dude, yeah, in our high school, yeah, and he probably keeps up with you still, and just being, like, seeing how you're doing, I, I hope so, yeah, I hope so, <laughs> maybe he's not a fan, you know, I mean, maybe not. <laughs> Could be in jail. Maybe rob some. <laughs> What's next? The uh, Bridge Creek Moore tornado of 1999 was the fastest wind speed in the world ever clocked, over 300 miles an hour. Wow. Pretty fast. Yep. That's a uh, EF6. Yeah. Ooh, what's yeah, the highest? Is that the no, highest? I think five's the highest, but. That yeah. one went six, so it's not the highest. Five's not the highest. Well, I was joking about the six, but oh. it's the fastest oh. ever. Yeah. I mean, that when that happened, that one, there's there's been two that gone through more that are like, yeah. Bananas. Well, that one when I was there and I left that morning, 
Uh, I kind of think that was the, the one. big one. That's the one. It wasn't ninety nine though, or maybe yeah. it was. Yeah, there was flip-flop. one in two thousand. The one that uh, <clears throat> I mean, I, Kevin Durant still there. Rest yeah. like those guys were still at OKC, and they. Uh, and so I was going. I remember I flew home that morning, and it came through the town that morning because it went through Norman when we were there, right? And it was like crazy what it did to Norman. And then there was the other town that it crushed. Uh, more. More. Moore's and then that was the one that was like crazy. And that was the, yeah, the news lady we saw. Yeah, all that, you made a whole joke. Yeah. I still think that's the funniest, one of the funniest riffs is still my favorite because the, they, in Oklahoma, whenever there's a tornado, they have all these people that are on the ground. Mm-hmm. And there's, I mean, there's like 10 of them. And so what the guy does is he literally just bounces from people to people. And there's these like these famous storm chasers, like there's a guy named Val that's like super famous. Mm-hmm. And uh, they'll throw them to these people. And this one, she's now like a weather woman now. I yeah. forget what station she's on. But she would like, Val's like very calm. We're like, all right, so we're, we're picking up wind speed over here. We're starting to see a little hail. And then all of a sudden she'd be like, hey, can I cut in real quick? I need to cut in real quick. Yeah. There's lots of, like she would cut in mm. with nothing to say. Yeah. <laughs> and then they would, and, and then he was just like, okay, thanks, Jenny. Uh, yeah. We're going to go back to Val. Val. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, still here. Uh, when yeah. speeds have just still been the same, interrupting everybody, <laughs> just like guys, can I? You just not believe what's going on here. You're like, uh, door just opened on its own, and <laughs> shut back, and you go, okay. And I just remember we because we were coming back from the rig, and Nate was just yeah. losing it in the back seat. Yeah, it was like, why is this like? You're like, <laughs> it was so funny. She just went, and they're like, <sighs> oh, that was the same day y'all drove out. Yeah, yeah, and then we were watching. I think we were listening to the radio, yeah. and then they were like playing one of their their things. The problem is, is that we were we went to see the oil rig in eastern Oklahoma. Yeah, and tornadoes kind of start in like the like the northwest, and they kind of follow the highway, the interstate. So they go like from kind of from Kansas, and they follow like Elk City, Clinton, then they hit Yukon, which is where I'm from, and then Oklahoma City, and they go down. So basically, they, st- they start. That's the creepiest thing. When I worked in the oil field, you would drive down the highway, and c- you'd c- be coming back to town about three o'clock, and you'd see all the Weather Channel trucks and and storm chasers. Mm. I mean, the guys look like they're going to battle. Yeah, because yeah. they got these big armored trucks and stuff with all the satellites on. I want to do that. If someone listens to this, I just mentioned about the golf thing, and we've got we've got I've got we've got all your emails about golf and me wanting and like I do want to go play with them. It's kind of hard right now. I got to play Sawgrass because it was, it was Sawgrass. But, you know, there's a couple unique ones that I'll just be like, but I've got, uh, this is separate, but I did want to let people know. I do see them. I'm not trying to ignore any of them. Uh, there was a lot of them. And I do want to go play, but it's it's just, we have two shows. Uh, I'm doing eight shows a week. It's like, I, I've got to also like be like, I can't. Like, it just takes too much time. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we have one show, I can usually do it, but you know, it's very hard, but I do want to, if I can make it work, I'll come play. But the same way with storm troop chasing, I want to go do storm chasing. I've always, I've loved it. And, uh, I love watching it. I would love to go see these tornadoes. Yeah, me too. And like, I mean, it would be the best. Yeah. You can all go. We're all go. Yeah. We'll do a storm it. chasing episode. That's the new Krispy Kreme challenge. That's the new Krispy Kreme challenge. Mm-hmm. And we got to go out there. Driving I mean, Aaron looks like, Aaron looks like he fits the part of a tornado. <laughs> oh yeah. Like so good. Can I say we had an we on our weather episode we had an argument over what is scarier, a tornado or a hurricane, and I believe I took the position that a hurricane is scarier, yeah. and they both disagree with me. And I was in Oklahoma City, and a fan of the podcast confronted me about it politely, but said your position is idiotic. <laughs> yeah, basically it was just like yeah, I live in Oklahoma, I yeah. know about tornadoes. They are horrifying. I was yeah. Like, okay. That's and they fair. come out of nowhere and yeah. they can hit anybody. Mm-hmm. Hurricanes get a two week notice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hurricanes like call you. You can take the window up. Yeah. They call you. They give you a shout out. They send a couple of emails out. Now, if you, you live in an tape, island, tape somewhere, the window up. Yeah. Tape the window yeah. up. You could put your house on the market on the on the hurricane. Yeah. yeah. You take the windows up so when the wind starts kind of bashing it, if it shatters, it doesn't go all over your stuff. Tape the windows up. Oh. I love this. The hurricane, just tape the windows yeah. Tape the windows up. What are you complaining about? Just yeah. tape, tape the, the window windows. Come on, dude. It's a fun time. It's a, <laughs> fun, <laughs> it's a fun family thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Hurricanes are- There's 10 look, feet of water coming through. The yeah, yeah. Wood. If you stay in the house, it's going to be crazy. Uh-huh. But hurricanes are just like- And look, I know some people don't get out. There's a lot of stuff like that. But there's usually- It doesn't just appear out of nowhere. 
I mean, a tornado at night is maybe the scariest thing you ever experienced uh-huh. in your life. When we had one go through here, because they know they, you can't see it. A mm-hmm. lady not too far from here, her whole house got destroyed. She got killed. No, doesn't even know yeah. that it's like, at least during the day, you can kind of be like, there it is or something. But I mean, it just, yeah. at night, it just comes. But the weather that produces tornadoes doesn't come out of nowhere. Like, you know that that's coming. I mean, but maybe this tornado that, does. Like The, the hurricane, out. they're telling you it's happening now. There'll be like five, four, three, two, now hurricane. Like, you don't just go, here's the hurricane coming, and then it disappears, and then it's <laughs> over New Orleans. And you're like, golly, where'd it go? And we went underwater. Uh-huh. And he's like, I've been hiding for a couple weeks. Tornado, you're like, the setting is there. Maybe okay. it's going to happen. Maybe it's not going to happen. Okay. I mean, I could tell you some tornado horror stories. I mean, I've thought, I, mean, I kind of feel like that's Bates territory. I don't want to get too sad. <laughs> Bad, yeah. news on the, <laughs> Bad news, Bates. Bad news, Bates. Oh, I got a lot. I'm buddy. sure we got some stats coming yeah. up. No, no, I'm not even stat. Just, I mean, just personal uh-huh. things. Well, I grew up in Alabama. We had, we had tornadoes. No, you're not better than them. No, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> don't try to be. That. I'm not claiming trying that. Trying to claim that you went through it. We had a harder time. <laughs> no, I mean, do. Alabama does get does have uh-huh. some not as tornado. much as we do. We probably do the most. <laughs> Yeah, you have those yeah. F ones. I wish I had Oklahoma tornadoes. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> uh, no Democratic presidential candidate has won a single county in the state since mm-hmm. two thousand. Oh wow, mm-hmm. it's pretty that's rare. Always, that's always the funny. That's always the funniest thing. I used to do a thing about it, but I, it was literally like, you know what it's like to have your state turn red. Bef- like before the polls even cl- like they're just like <laughs> yeah. like there i talked about how other states are still counting votes yeah and mm-hmm. like we're just like there's like you're counting votes for 15 minutes like all right guys we're good yeah we're good it. we're done it's red we're people done. we're done yeah <laughs> just, just shut mean, it down they all really stick to the red thing yeah, yeah. we got to keep it there yeah there's a county in oklahoma it's the only county in the nation that borders four states oh kansas colorado new mexico and texas wow it's crazy all right <laughs> Show this in my eye. <laughs> I, I should know crazy. geography is usually you'll you don't go for that. It's interesting. It's like uh I mean it's a county. So like it's not a state. It's like Well, all right, that there's a part of Oklahoma that yeah. borders four states. I mean, I thought he was gonna come with me with fast food facts yeah. where it's like yeah. Sonic is from that. Yeah. Like you're like, oh man, uh, let's talk about chili cheese dogs. You know, I can talk about Brahms ice cream all day. Like you can do all these things. You're like, and he's like, the you county. know the county. He's a big want, county guy. I wanted to ease into it. He, he likes like counties. counties. Yeah. 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 Who doesn't? He thinks all the counties should break up in America. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The uh, center of the universe, as it's commonly known in Oklahoma, is in downtown Tulsa. Oh, we'll you know be the, there. Uh, you can go visit. It's a little. It's not literally the center of the universe. It's a mis- mysterious acoustic phenomenon. If you stand in the middle of the circle and make a noise, the sound is echoed back several times louder than it was made. I'm gonna play the video you sent me here. Yeah. Uh, you're standing in the middle of a, of a circle that's caused by. Concrete uh, benches. Right. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you gotta hear it. You gotta hear it. No, there's not. A, I mean, this is this. That's good. We're good. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of cool. We're having local news. <laughs> Do you know? This. Have you heard of that? The no, center of the universe. I have no. not. Look, I think it's very cool. I'm gonna. Tulsa's famous for a few things. That's yeah. not one of them. That I'm, I'm gonna go her. for. We'll take Harper to there. I'll show her. I'll be in Tulsa this weekend, uh, which is kind of crazy to do this. I get, it makes sense why you're here. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it's like we'll be in Springfield, OKC, Tulsa, yeah. uh, and then OKC again. Uh, and most are sold out. I think late the added shows are have some tickets, but they. Uh, I'll go. Where I'll go show. Them. Harper this. I think I'm not saying it's not a cool thing. I don't know if we need to watch a four minute video <laughs> We're not watch on a the news whole, podcast. We're not gonna watch the whole thing. I would have maybe sped it up to like right when the I just wanted to hear what, yeah, what it sounded like. Yeah, well, I mean, how long we it took us it's just, yeah, 41, 41 seconds, which is a long time. Nah, I started at 15 seconds in. <laughs> Whatever you took, it felt longer than 40 <laughs> seconds. And then it just, you know. I mean, most shows, I feel like when you play a sound, they play the sound. Like, you go, let's play that sound. They don't go, let's have a little build up to it. You got to give it some context, man. You can't just jump in. But we just did a county thing <laughs> that brought just the earth down to, I mean, people started nodding off and sliding into a rail. And then we go, let's turn it back up, man. Can we get it going? Here's a local news. We're going to explain it all. 
All right, I'm going to try this one. Lottie Williams from Tulsa, Oklahoma, is the only person who's ever been hit with space junk. Mm. In 1997, she was on a walk and was hit by a six-inch-long piece of a rocket that fell from the sky. Does it always just come down anywhere on Earth? Usually it's in the ocean. Yeah. But in this case, it hit her. (laughs) What? I mean, you know the odds of that? Uh, It was like one in uh, something trillion. It's, It's much more greater than people on Earth. Did she die? No, it didn't even hurt her. Oh, really? Just hit her in the shoulder. Yeah. How, how big was it? Six inches? Uh, is that what I said? Yeah, six inch long piece of a rock. Did she get a key? How it? does it not hurt you? The message is grazed. Like her. a squirrel. So it was a piece of a ship, though. <laughs> Yeah, it was a piece of a rocket. I mean, how do but how do you know? How do you know somebody just didn't throw like a screw over the top of a building or something? Could well, have. I mean, I think it landed there, and then they looked at it and could tell it was part of a rocket. I yeah. Said, how confident do you have to be to see like a screw fall and be like, "Oh, I should go get this tested." Well, I, I think you go start you, asking questions. I'll be honest with you: if you ever get hit by a screw walking a dog outside, I just a <laughs> common rule should be go get that screw tested. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting you're getting hit by screws so much outside. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I get hit by a screw, yeah. I just don't walk my dog in that neighborhood anymore. Yeah, you like, just that's yeah. how I go. That's all your screw experiences. You go, yeah. guys. I get hit by screws every day, and I've never tested one like a loser outside i mean in, in in my neighborhood in new york that i lived in i lived in the dominican neighborhood and if they ever made fun of me i just walked a different way like whenever you walk past a barber shop yeah and you could they would they would they would do me yeah oh really <laughs> oh yeah. yeah oh that's funny <laughs> and i was just like well i'm just gonna i'm just gonna walk like it i'm just gonna take a different train yeah. home for a while mm. i like <laughs> that you didn't want to say they would like act like you no, they, they would they would put a they would take like a one of the kids pillows yeah. that the yeah. kids sit on the barbershop and they'd put it in their stomach. Uh, it was I, funny. It's yeah, it's mean, but it's funny though that you like were whispering it and you're like, well, you're the one that we would wouldn't want to hear it. Yeah, and you're the one that's telling. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, they would do. I won't say this, but they would yeah. make fun of me quite a bit. And you go, I think they whisper quieter. Yeah. You don't want to hear it. Yeah. He didn't yeah. want to hurt Aaron's feelings. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got to be people. By the way, it's just got to be blowing people's minds. That Aaron and I are sitting. Together, oh, that is true. By the way, yeah. Because yeah. every, I mean. I, I've been tagged in multiple posts on Instagram of pictures of Justin that yeah. said Aaron killed it tonight <laughs> yeah. at the show. Yeah. It's like the evolution of man going across yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's always a. That's <laughs> no one knows what that. I feel like he wrote that last night and thought I got to get evolution of man in there somehow, and then he goes, "Oh, here's your time. Here's your time breakfast," and then he does it there. You don't know the evolution of man. Yeah, but it's not. I wouldn't. It's, it doesn't work there. You talking about them two? It's growing bigger. No, that's not. That doesn't work at all. Okay, I mean, that's huh? All right. It's there. I've you, there's ways to make it work, but it's like it's not that. Okay. You gave it a go. <laughs> I don't all think right. he would be laughing that hard if it was a killer. <laughs> Uh, Oklahoma City Thunder relocated in 2008. Yeah. yeah. He loved it. That's um, right. You know some other names they're considered calling it? Why are they called the Thunder? Uh, I think it's because it has to do with like thundering. Well, the, the thund- <laughs> like weather. Yeah. And then also whenever like a herd of buffalo were running, yeah. it's it's a thunder. It's they, yeah. they made, It sounds like thunder. Like Marshall, Kinda, yeah. thundering herd. So right? basically like why would you would yeah. think that? So it's like multiple things. <laughs> Yeah, why, I don't even know why you're asking me this question. That's funny. Yeah, you're the one with the paper. You look at it's right there. All right, I, mean, I was trying to throw you a bone. <laughs> why, why do you, why do they call them the Eagles? Well, uh, there's Eagles, and we just went with that. Yeah, I thought thunder would be just because of the thunder in the sky. Well, you would have been wrong. I mean, it's uh, kind of that. It's the buffalo it's thing, right? It's only the buffalo thing. I don't know. That's why I was asking Justin. Okay. But he said both. All right. Uh, the, the New Orleans Hornets relocated to Oklahoma City after Hurricane Katrina. Mm-hmm. Got right. to watch Chris Paul play. That yeah. was awesome. All right. And these then, are, then the, he came these are the facts you found? Yeah. It's not like Oklahoma stuff. Like more like, I feel like there's the there's land. The, 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 everything I've said is Oklahoma. Claim, the claim in your own land is kind of, the land run is crazy. Yeah. Land run. I thought. Yeah. I thought Did, you huh? Did you hear me mention that? Did you hear me mention that? I lost it. I thought we watched a news uh, <laughs> story on it. One of the uh, fin- top minor league ballparks in the country is the Bricktown Ballpark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's great. It's I think it the is, restaurant. Did we go awesome. to that restaurant? Is that Oklahoma City? Which one? Uh, oh, the Mickey Mantle Steakhouse. Yeah. Oh, oh so good. Man. 
We had, we wag, had, the, we had I still, yeah, I'll go there when we go to OKC. Yeah. It's still, I, mean, I still think about it. I'm like, it's still the best steak. I've never had a steak really? that good. That good? We had Wagyu there, and I was like, this is this is the best steak I've ever had. And I've even had Wagyu at other places, and I still go. It's not better than that Mickey Mantle wow. restaurant. Well, I was like, I was like taking people to eat in Oklahoma because they always think, even like I took you to, to Empire, the pizza place. Yeah. And you were like, dude, that I was, was in great. New York for a while, and I go, dude, trust me. Because they have this like pink saucy it's, Empire Pizza is like amazing. Yeah. Um, Brahms ice cream. They have this frozen yogurt that's better than most ice cream anywhere. Yeah. And you tell people this stuff, and they're just like, "Oh, you're just." Justin you're just... took me to a Mexican place. Oh, Alfredo's. Alfredo's yeah. it was so I... good. I took the other comic to it the next day. Did yeah. not invite me to that though. Ooh. Literally, literally blocks away. Yeah. Whoa. What are you talking about? You, <laughs> didn't, you, didn't, you didn't text him the next day and say, "Justin, we're going to go eat there again." Come on, man. Why not? It, well, it, it was like uh, a it was a spur of the moment thing. It was hey. like, "You want to go get lunch?" Yeah. He just Justin just showed me this great spot. Yeah. Let's just go there again. The spur of the moment thing is a tornado. It's not a lunch that everybody has to eat every day. That's not a spur of the moment thing. Yeah. How, how, do, they, how do they get to their table like this? Yeah. I won't give them a face, fist bump to, after this. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, I'm going to earn one between now and the end yeah. of the show. Well, you better get you better Yeah, get you better get cracking because it's... Concrete walls around. <laughs> 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 just play more just of her. <laughs> <laughs> How many views is that on YouTube? Uh, 468,000. Yeah. They could they could shorten. Oof. They could do the thing. Boise City, Oklahoma is the only city in the US to be bombed during World War II. Uh Y'all got a- space junk and yeah. that's crazy. World War II, the only city that gets bombed and the only person that's been hit by space junk. Right. And it was a mistake. They didn't mean to do it. They saw the city lights and they thought they were the target they were trying to hit. Who so, who hit it? Uh, the U. It was a B seventeen bomber tra- oh, the, the, training. The U S. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it was friendly fire. Yeah, yeah. Because I was about to say, did they? I don't think they f- were shooting bombs at us uh-uh. over here. Uh, they were doing target practice, and they got disoriented and dropped it on the town square. Were they? But there was. They never fought here, right? It was and a training it, session. Yeah, and so they and they dropped a real bomb. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they? Just not have bombs on there. Well, they were they were maybe it maybe it wasn't like the full detonated bomb, but I think they were dropping on a target to see what it would do. That's there was their oh, goal man. was to drop it on a target. Yeah, to practice. And so they thought it was the fake town that they built. They saw the city lights and thought it was the target lights because they were doing yeah. it in the middle of the night. Yeah, and they accidentally dropped it on this town. I mean, yeah. that'd be funny. I mean. I don't know if you've ever been to Boy City before, but you're suddenly just like, man, they really built this fake town up. Yeah. Look at that McDonald's. They even got cars well, like lined up think, twice. When was it? Yeah. Oh, World War II? Yeah. I mean, it's just, you would think like, yeah, it is kind of crazy to be. It was uh, practice bombs with four pounds of dynamite and 90 pounds of sand. Oh. Okay. So it's a little bit better. Not to do some damage, but not yeah. to obliterate a town. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've done a, I've done as much damage after Chipotle. So, yeah. Like, I mean, it's just. It's one that you fly away Quickly and goes get out of here. Oops, you know? yeah. yeah, they did a 50th anniversary thing. But the pilots did not want to come back because they were embarrassed. Yeah, what? The yeah, 50th anniversary. 50th anniversary. The worst anniversary of the time y'all were alive. bombed or are they mad about it or they like it now? Uh, I might like this town. If they like it, I think I like this town. <laughs> did he? No one died or anything. No one died. Yeah, I think I like this town. That's like you know what? I'm fine with it now. And then that's funny. They go like, oh, doing a 50th anniversary, and the pilots are like, I mean. It's embarrassing. Like what? You know. I mean, people probably love it. They're like, oh man, look, you know, they dropped a what? They, they ruined Kevin's bathtub and yeah. then they built us a pool. Yeah. <laughs> what if we got they, a public pool? You just go to those two pilots all the time and you see them, you're like, what happened, man? <laughs> He's like, you know, like the guy who runs the marathon in uh, Seinfeld. The, John Paul, John Paul. John Paul, John Paul. Yeah. 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 What happened? We talked in the case, why did you finish yeah. the alarm clock? Yeah. Because you just want to know, like, what? And he goes, We thought, I don't know. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Is that it? I'm rolling. Well, no, oh, I'm just getting okay. warmed up. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, I was just impressed. I finally got one that you like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the town of Beaver is the cow chip throwing capital of the world. All right. Mm-hmm. You ever cow, done that? What's cow chip throwing? Cow chips when a, when a cow uh, does, his, does his business yeah. in the field, and then the sun dries it, and so you can pick it up, and it's like a perfect Frisbee. Oh, you can, yeah. You can throw, and, you and can there's play. an actual like yeah. 
competition yeah. to do it. I yeah. mean, a lot of times like, when you're in your country, you, you, you make your own fun. Yeah. So a lot of kids will go up, but you can play, you can play like dodgeball yeah. with cow chips. People yeah. do it all the time. Yeah. That, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Ooh, uh, God, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, maybe ship them some iPhones over there. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, movie Footloose is loosely based on a town in Elmore City, Oklahoma. Oh, look where at they, that. they ban, ban dancing. Never, never seen that movie. Me either. Yeah, I, mean, I know of it. Patrick Swayze. Yeah. No, Kevin Bacon. No, oh. oh, <laughs> I thought it was Patrick Swayze. Maybe too. I'm thinking of what's uh, he in? Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. I don't think I've seen that either. Or Roadhouse. I think I've seen Roadhouse. Or Ghost. Either. Yeah. 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 Um. All right. I think that's probably it. That's probably it. <laughs> I mean, I got. More? I, I got. More. You want to do one more? Yeah. Do find another one. Uh, let's try to end on. How many more do you have? I mean, I've got a bunch, but I've already a... tried some that didn't work. So I'm a little <laughs> yeah. gun shy. Oklahoma City's the softball center of the world. That's true. They, I mean, have an amazing, uh, like you know, arena. People come from all yeah. over. The, I mean, you can't get a hotel room downtown. Yeah. Because of all the. Yeah, College uh, World Series is there? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah College World Series, yeah. the Olympics. I mean, there are so many visors that invade when that stadium is being <laughs> yeah. kicked off. I mean, it's crazy. The uh, G- Joe Exotic Zoo, it was in Winwood, Oklahoma. Yeah, you know, if, I thought it was Florida the whole time. Well, Carol really? Baskin was in Florida. Yeah, 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 just I didn't, you don't think Oklahoma. You think, like, Carol Baskin was in Florida, and you kind of just think it's Florida. Mm-hmm. And then I just didn't think about it. You know, and then I kind of thought that. Then you're like, oh, he's in Oklahoma. Oh, he's running for governor of Oklahoma. Yeah. 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 I mean, I remember <laughs> being in the oil field and seeing those billboards, yeah. and you're just like, <sighs> did y'all I mean, know him? I, like, not per. I mean, not, but yeah, everybody knew no who he was. I mean, like, like, you knew when you saw the billboards, you're yeah. like, what is that? And you look him up and you're like, oh my gosh. Did yeah. you vote for him for governor? No. I mean, I, no. <laughs> mm. There was like, I was not like, so there's, believe it or not, in Oklahoma, there were multiple drive through zoos. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I was not a Joe Exotic drive through zoo. I was a, we had a thing called Arbuckles Wilderness. So that was my zoo of choice. Yeah. To, to go drive through. So you yeah. voted for him. Yeah. Yeah, the guy from Arbuckle. Yeah. yeah. Arbuckle. The butt. Yeah. World's first parking meter was installed in Oklahoma City. Wow. <laughs> Shopping carts, that. too. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a, there's a, there's a woman, there's a woman <laughs> in, in, that owns a restaurant in Norman. Yeah. Um, and I would promote the restaurant. But yeah, I don't, I don't like well, her very much. Oh yeah, <laughs> but she, uh, her, her, she, her family lineage is. Maybe shopping she carts. would help you. Maybe she'll like you. No, 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 no. Why doesn't she like you? Oh well, I just I don't like her very much. Why? Because because there's, just because you're gonna you're gonna start a thing. She wears a big pillow when you. No, so <laughs> when so there was a thing a long time ago uh, where uh, they were doing when I was still in Oklahoma. There was there was a festival that was gonna allow a comic to come to the festival. And I'm, yeah. st- and I'm still trying. Like, I mean, I'm I have New York on the yeah, horizon, yeah. so I want to start meeting people everywhere I can. I'm traveling. I'm literally driving to Kansas City to the Improv to do spots. Like, I'm driving everywhere yeah. to try to get spots. And so I'm like, oh, this is a good. It was a good festival, um, and uh, and so I'm like, I'm gonna try for this spot. So the whole thing was is that this restaurant would do like a it was like an open mic thing, but it was like they would try to they would have people like you could win a spot and it was like all expenses the the this lady would pay for your hotel airfare. Yeah. I mean festivals they you don't make a ton of money, so yeah, like this no. is huge, yeah. right? And so I'm like, and it was legit. this lady, it was this woman. Yeah. So her thing was she watched open mics every day for a month. Yeah, and the best five from the open mics would go to like one show at the end and then she would pick whoever it yeah. was. And at that time I was, I was one of the better, like I was like, I was like, oh, I, I can, mm. I could legit win this. Yeah. And, uh, and so the first, and I was on the road for two of the week. So I only had two shots to do yeah. this. And the first time I did it, she didn't even come in because you just kind of draw spots. Yeah. She didn't even come in and see my set. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm so I'm mad about that. And then I had to wait till the third week. And then during my set again, and I didn't, of course, I didn't get on there. Yeah. You know, and then the third week comes and then like, this is it. This is my last shot. And she's in the back of the room finally. And then I go up on stage and I start doing it. And I do my first, like, I don't even do like a joke. I do like a riff and it gets like a good pop, which an open mic is 
I'm bananas if you can do that. And I look in the back of the room and she's talking to somebody <laughs> yeah. else. Yeah. She talked during my whole set and as soon yeah. as I got she she came back. Yeah. And then of course I did not even get yeah. I didn't even make the top five in two open mics. Yeah. And uh and it was it was uh still well, not happy about it. I'm yeah. still just I'm and and, yeah. and and of course uh somebody else that she liked got and I was just it was just a real frustrating thing because like I was legit trying to do it and yeah. I was doing everything I could and then people were just like, you know, like they didn't care. Yeah. And it was like I, I treated I treated comedy very professionally for like a long time. Yeah. And that woman uh that is of Charlie Carter. Yeah, oh. she's well she's her family, she got the money to run a restaurant because yeah. her family invented the shopping yeah. cart and has the patent. Nothing to do with comedy. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then now yeah. she's trying to sit there and throw yeah. things around. That's or cool. Well, at least you so, let it go. Yeah. I'm uh, sure. <laughs> we can go for two more hours yeah. if you want to, too. You want to do another episode? Yeah. Yeah. Episodes about restaurant owners that have done me wrong in show yeah. business. <laughs> another episode of just talking Justin. Do you yeah, let stuff go, man? Like, what's he is another one? He goes, This one lady. Can I get a can I get a coupon of that thing you were yeah. advertising earlier? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> man, my voice at the very end. All right, everybody. Thank you very much as always. We love all of you. Go to Justin Smith. Oh, can I, can I yeah. announce something real quick? Yeah. So this is the first time I'm announcing it right now. All right. Uh, it's Exclusive. a very big deal. So on January 14th and 15th yeah. in Springfield, Missouri, which will be there this week, yeah. at the Blue Room Comedy Club, I'm taping uh, a special, I'm doing special yeah. album, the whole thing. But it's a big deal. I'm putting all the stuff that I've, that I've put together. Uh, I'm really excited about where the hour is. Yeah. I'm really excited to do this. So January 14th and 15th at the Blue Room Comedy Club, Springfield. Blue Missouri, Room Comedy Club. At the Club. Blue Room Comedy Club. And we'll be at Springfield, Springfield this week, so we'll be able to announce it there, right. too. Which is great, but I'm That's very great, excited. Man. Please come, yeah, man. It's come a big out. Deal. It's going to be a huge deal. Yeah, um, and it, it'll mean a lot to me if any. You know, your fans are always amazing. Yeah, and very then, nice. And, you know, if, 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 if maybe get a plug from Aaron Land too. That's oh, true. Absolutely. Aaron Land, go just, see it. Go to the Blue Room. Yeah, yeah go check out Justin January Smith. 14, Have you done, you've done Blue Room before, right? I've done a Blue Room a bunch. Chris, it's, there's great guy. It's yeah, a great, great club. Yeah, it's awesome. Good place to shoot a special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want, I'll just leave it up, and you can just go right after. Pop it in right <laughs> after. <laughs> yeah. uh, awesome. Go check that out, everybody. Thank uh, you. Y'all, do y'all have anything? Or you? I'm in uh, Green Bay in Pittsburgh this weekend with yeah. uh, Leon Morgan, and then at Zany Sunday uh, with Johnny W. All right. I'm on that Zany show as well. November Sunday. 5th and 6th, Gutties in Greenwood, Indiana. There you go. Come out headlining. Come see it. All right. Thank you, guys. As always, we love you. Talk to you uh, next week. Happy anniversary, Laura. Bye.